Ayo. Hey, how are you? Uh, it's the bar stool yak. I think Roan will be in. I think LA fell through. I don't know. I just texted him. Very cool. Uh, but before we get into anything, Max sponsored by Roback. You guys know it. You guys wear it. You guys live the lifestyle. Summer's in full swing, and the best thing to w- to be wearing this season is Roback. It has four way stretch and moisture wicking fabric. The polos are perfect for a hot summer day. They won't wrinkle while keeping you cool and feeling fresh. With new designs just in time for summer, it's time to grab a polo. So whether it's a chilly summer morning or a hot day, Sass, what's good for you? <sighs> polo. Rowback polos are perfect for those. Yes. Those summer summer days. Use code YAK on rowback.com for 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. It's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com, 20% off all polos, hoodies, shorts, and much, much more. What's up, boys? What's up, Mr. Married? Yes, hey, congratulations. Uh huh. Thank you. Look at that thing. It's shining. Wow. Matches my brick watch. Look at Very that. Very nice. How'd everything go? I know you filmed it. Um, yes. Yeah. Black Tux was a partial sponsor, so uh, we will be releasing some content from the wedding. Very uh, cool. It went well, though, but it was, uh, it was a whirlwind. We had like three days of activities for 100 friends and family pretty stressful i don't think i have talked to like i don't think i've just talked that much in a three-day stretch ever planning a wedding is stressful i'd imagine and planning a wedding abroad has to be right five times as stressful. there's nothing i dread more than that day which is sad <laughs> than your wedding yeah. day yeah like the just the social expectations of the whole like uh you know the days leading up the day of your yeah. husband will take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, well, you've been a dick lately. <laughs> what else did I do? Um, yeah, nothing. You've been good, I guess. I've been I've been really fucking good, actually. Before we get into your wedding. You've been on your best behavior. I swear to God, I've been the best <laughs> I've been in a long time. I've been pretty damn good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Right, yeah. Everybody's been noticing. But what before what? Before he gets into his wedding day? Is there a medical consensus, like an official one on five-hour energies, like what's going on with them? They've kind of been under the radar. The, the nutrition the, are crazy. The daily values, this has 20,833% oh, daily value. That's lethal. B12. Is this, ter- this going to kill you? There's or? no way your body can absorb all of that. I thought it was yeah. just a lot of caffeine. In a, it's it's 200 bottle. milligrams. This is 120% this is like a percent of strong like energy drink. Huh. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think. I think those have been around forever. I feel like if they were terrible. Uh, yeah, but you never hear anything about them. All right, that's it. I took one fell off. the first day of my internship, uh, like right out of high school. Yeah, uh, I engage, took one my first engaged day. Engaged inter office couple. Ben DeGiulio, shout out. Oh, big shout out, oh, yeah. Ben DeGiulio. He's oh. engaged. Um, I had to go home with a panic attack my first day of an internship. Oh yeah, I had. A, I was back. Remember when me and you were slamming the reins? Oh. And we'd both just have to leave work early. Yeah, just like, hey, man, Night I got to go dark. home and be nervous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was having those, like, uh, orange <laughs> sherbet flavor yeah. rains. We had the white gummy bear ones. Remember yeah. that? The yeah. Blue oh, my yeah. God. My heart was just looking like uh, like when nobody sits in a massage chair. <laughs> just like the kneading coming out of my chest. <laughs> those are 300 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah. That, not good for you. Uh, but Donnie knows it, it was a good, good, successful wedding. Yes. Ireland's a magical country, some of the friendliest people in the world, although I did manage to piss off a group of six or seven of them. Okay, what did you do? Uh, the wedding was on a Jack Nicklaus golf course out yeah, there. Of yeah, of course. <laughs> um, and I don't play a lot of golf. I don't love golf, but my friends do. So uh, they offered to let us all play for free the day before the wedding. We were out there, and I was just hammering balls out of the bunkers. Oh, is that what? As I am prone to do. I my bunker game is nice. Oh, that yeah. so that was a good thing. Yeah, I mean, I you were doing points, well while you were in the bunkers. Yes. Other than that, I was doing horribly. Okay. So how At did times, you I was just off? throwing balls in the bunkers and hitting them out because oh, that's a good I time. Found it fun. Um, but none of my friends 
informed me that you're supposed to rake the bunkers afterwards. Oh, yeah. We were walking away from a hole, and this guy was like, you come back here and you rake this bunker right now? (laughs) (laughs) That place. I go, yeah, I think he's talking to me. So I walk back, and it's a group of seven guys. One of them goes, is this your first time playing golf, son? And I was like, sort of. (laughs) Not far from He goes, you come to our country and you leave our bunkers looking like this? You get in there and you start raking now? So I just got in the bunker and I was slowly raking it for five to 10 minutes while like seven angry guys just stare at me. How did you know when you were done? I, I thought I was done. I start walking away and he goes, you come back here right now. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, the Irish and the uh, Russians are just are blow out the competition when it comes to angry men. Yeah. Well, I, most Irish people are very jolly, happy-go-lucky. This was the when only they time are angry, I saw hits, one upset. Yes. So he had me come back. He goes, you only raked half the bunker. Because I thought I only had to rake where my like uh, club hit the sand. Yeah. But he was like, you left all your footprints. <laughs> um, and oh. so I had to go in and then rake all my footprints. And then I had to, he was like, you rake yourself out so you don't leave a single footprint. <sighs> and so, uh, yeah, I raked myself out. But I was like... I was thinking of like pulling the groom card and being like, I'm getting married tomorrow. I'm just trying to, trying to have a good time with my friends. But oh, he wouldn't no. have cared. No, he wouldn't have cared at all. So I was rattled. But um, other than that, people there are so friendly. Golf is so intimidating. Yes, I think I've missed is. the curve. I don't know the protocols. I don't know. I would commit so many faux pas. I think a lot of people are faking it. A lot of people are pretty pretty fucking bad, but they just look, they wear the uniform and they, yeah. they say what you need to say. I wouldn't have known. Because just a disguise is that anyone yeah. can get. You could just throw on the collar shirt and be like, I'm not a piece of shit. I beat Hank by like 15 strokes in that Frankie video. Oh, yeah. He golfs every single day, and I haven't played in two years. <laughs> <laughs> Are you his boss? <laughs> yeah. You guys played for pinks. <laughs> yeah, but it is like a... There is weird... I remember, I remember when me and my friends used to play when we were younger, we would get yelled at by like the greenskeepers or whatever, the landscape guys all the time. For like leaving divots, they would like chase us down holding the divot. Like, remember this? <laughs> they would bring you the divot. They'd bring the divot. Is this yours? Yeah. Like it might be. I don't know. <laughs> they were dicks though, but it was a public course. Yeah, that's on your boys for it's sure. On your oh, one hundred percent. I was actually with PFT at the time. He didn't say a word. He didn't about say it. a word. No. So he does not know proper bunker etiquette. Was the filming like subtle enough? Uh yeah Hammer no Corey. I like I warned Corey I was like do not yeah, tell I, any I of my Corey friends and get... family to do like a Dutch angle or, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, if Corey like yeah made you do your vows twice <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah I was That's like sad. don't talk to anyone. Wait, Corey did your wedding video uh yeah he filmed some yeah. so your wedding the video will be is sponsored Black Tux um was that a Partially, tough yeah. sell to your now wife like hey she was uh, she she's was, very cool surprisingly down yeah yeah um i was shocked well she was in one of your earlier videos yes getting drunk at that buffet at the, at the fanciest yeah. italian restaurant yeah in China, yeah uh where you could get like like fruit pizzas for three dollars <laughs> that one of your first dates yeah. with her um no i think it made it seem like she was a, a re- yeah like a re- i think you said it was a in, prostitute in the yeah, video, I, you I said i met her on a uh, chinder Chinese Tinder. <laughs> that uh, sounds fucked up. That, that sounds, sounds like so it. fucked it up. Yes. Um, but we like, yeah, and they had like six dollar bottles of wine there and we were just getting hammered. You just you press like a button every time you that want something awesome. else. Yeah. Um and yeah, we were pretty drunk after that, and I'm pretty sure she lost her purse and we were just like locked out of our apartment that night. Um Match made it yeah. Oh yeah. She also appeared in the video I did with you guys in Wheeling. Oh yeah! Oh my God! Yeah, yeah! Uh-huh. Right in the, the first scene. What did you guys tour yeah. that day? A botanic garden or some shit? What were you guys walking That's around in Wheeling? The, uh, the, the Palace of Gold. Oh yeah, uh, the Palace the of Gold. Krishna. Um, it's, it's the one of like the world's like, it's like it's an important one of for the Krishnas. Like they <laughs> flock there. They do uh, retreats there. And um, it um, was also where they like murdered a mailman. Yeah, there's that book, Back Monkey the... on a Stick. Yeah, yeah. we got we got. Uh, they were unhappy with us after that video. Yeah, I mean, oh, because Kyle pointed at one of the giant statues there and said, like, they were the first, like, trans Hindu saint or Nick something. Nick said that. No, you oh, said God. that. You said that. I said they directed the Matrix. Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you called their god. Yeah, trans. the first trans. Yeah, I did. 
And at that point, I don't think I had known you long enough. I thought that may have been real. Because I could, I could see Hindus having some sort of like sure, trans yeah. god. People, the the people hands. mad were white girls who just worked there part time. Yeah, yeah. They didn't. The, the Krishnas didn't care. No. Mm-hmm. no, they're kind people, very kind. Um, Damn, that's sick. We were talking before. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I just want to hear more Donnie's Irish accent. Oh, <laughs> that was, it was, was really good. Yeah, Did you have good. one before you went? Like, were you, How were do you, you say 33 and a third in Irish? 33, 33 and, a and a turd. Okay, yeah. Is that like the oldest joke ever? No, I've, I've never, never heard, heard that, that, but I, I like guessed. it. I know that because yeah, he... because Colum Terrell. Oh, so yeah. He, he can't. He always says turd. <laughs> yeah, turd. Yeah. Turd. A turd. Turd place. He's up there for three minutes. Okay, yeah. okay, now what is the Scottish accent? Oh. I can go. Because that's even more. Grandfather. Is it angrier than Grandfather, Irish? Grandfather, lend me your ear. more in, in, like, unintelligible. Okay. Scottish brogue. Yeah, no, I knew one Scottish guy where I actually couldn't understand a word. Where's Shrek from? What's his What's his accent? I think that's he's Scottish. from Fresno. <laughs> Shrek's from yeah, Fresno. Yeah, you grew up there. Yeah, in the Central Valley. Damn, that Central Valley accent. <laughs> crazy. Damn, I had no idea Shrek was from Fresno. <laughs> yeah, I think the further you go north in Ireland, the more um, the more heavy the accent in gets. Scotland, that's the case. The further north, the heaviest. Yeah. and then in Ireland, I think they're west coast the accents oh, are a okay. lot heavier than the east coast yeah and that's where they speak gaelic so like all the signs there oh. are in english and in gaelic Damn. and all the kids growing up have, forget about have, to, have to take irish classes as well as english classes yeah that language is strange to hear yeah uh we yeah. had a um day of wedding coordinator and i like her name was spelled i w- would have had no i would like no idea how to pronounce it apparently it was dirvla <laughs> dirvla but it was spelled yeah. like duable gulich. Yeah. 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 Some of those names are just there's a combination of letters that don't fit where yeah. they are at all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Oh my God. He's from Fresno. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the f- <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Shrek from Fresno. I know. It's one of those things. <laughs> yeah. Just one of those things. You're such a piece of shit. <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, I, I forget. Yeah. I always forget that. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> some Mash, boots. Mash, no. some boots too is a great movie. Surprisingly, is that the new one? Like uh, this came out this yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. I heard it was really good. Fantastic. You went to it. You saw it? Yeah, I didn't see it in the theater. <laughs> oh, I thought yeah. you were gonna say at I all. Didn't see it. Yeah. But it's really good. You yeah, got to check it out. There's a bunch of um, British people on Facebook mad right now. They're falling for like this Onion-esque article that they're renaming Big Ben Massive Muhammad. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, this can't be real. Tell me this isn't true. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm still going to be calling it Big Ben. It's like, all right. <laughs> the immigration <is> terrible. <laughs> uh Damn. Yeah, I can't even di- differentiate between a lot of them. Like, I don't know the Scottish from the Irish. Or, I mean, I would know the hear it, but I couldn't yeah. do it. Scottish is crazy. Or like Scouse from... And like Geordie and... Uh, Scouse, Scouse, it's very high-pitched. It's like... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. No, no, I don't know no, about no, that. That was exactly right. <laughs> Are we getting on the piss? Wait, that sounds like an anime <laughs> schoolgirl. Yeah, that was a Japanese girl. All right, la, put it in my pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I had a Scouse friend, and we were just uh, talking, and I was like, yeah, a, a lot of American chicks, like, they won't want to have sex on the first date because then you'll think they're easy. And she's like, you know, he was like, in Liverpool, if uh, if you don't fuck on the first date, she'll think you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's fucking beautiful. Honey, did you give a speech at your wedding? I did not. I had some That's why yeah, that's ideal. That's about yeah. it. He te- I had some he texted like, me yeah. last night. He was like, "Did you give a speech at your wedding?" I didn't know why you were asking that, but you said you didn't give a speech either, but you're regretting it? That well, you not giving a speech made me feel better. Like, I've never been to a wedding like, with the groom speaking. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah all right. Some things online said he, like Sometimes they just give like a, a speech. quick thank you, like thank you to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Quick thank you. Quick thank you. Quick thank you. <laughs> just necking uh, off the whole crowd that went there? I don't know. That's what it is. Or just like sharing stories about like how you guys met and stuff. But yeah, no. 
I feel like that's one of the best I've, man. I've been to, yeah, it's the best man, father of the bride. Yeah. And yeah, maybe so. Oh, and, and then the, the woman, the, groom, the maid of honor. Yes. Now, your international was hell. Who was the, what guest traveled the furthest? Um, yeah. Your cleaning lady? Who was your cleaning lady? lady? What's her name? name? She wouldn't have been able to get an Irish visa, mm. unfortunately. Um, we had someone from Singapore who, okay. who lives in Singapore Not now. As far as possible, probably. Um, yeah, Shanghai. Um, it's pretty fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to dig for deeper than Shanghai. Yeah. There's nowhere South farther. Africa. Oh, but wow. Jesus. But she was um, my wife's friend from the school she taught at in Italy, but was it's just South African. Damn. What did you guys eat there? What was it? Was it traditional Irish cuisine, maybe something Indian, or did they just give you a hock of beef and some fish? Traditional Irish cuisine. I will say something. The chicken wings in Ireland are minuscule. Really? Um, no yeah. steroids. Yeah. steroids in the chicken. But they're okay. very, very tasty. What they lack in size, they make up for in quality, but they're just like... They're like Irish hen wings. I can send a photo. Yeah. I mean, these these wings. Chicken wings in America are beefy. Oh, my God. I'm I'm still shocked when I see this. Who should I send it to? Uh, TJ. TJ. Yeah, TJ's number. I don't think I do. Why don't you just read that yeah, off? Just say it off. I'll send it to his... Uh, Six? Oh, and I'll... Oh, you're fucked. I'll tweet it at you. Or I'm going to text it to Za. Is he back there? Yeah. I'll send Time. it to him. Um, a nice thing about Ireland is they do drink a lot, but, um, all their beers like Guinness is maybe 4.2% alcohol. Yeah. Um, Magners, which they call Balmers over there is like 4.2 the cider. Yeah. Okay. The cider. Um, so you can just drink all day and they have no light beers actually though. get drunk. There's like a light beer on the tap. Yeah. 4.2% is light, but, uh, the, it's yeah. a, it's still a, a heavy beer to drink. Yeah. Like I'm talking about a traditional, like a Bud Light. Yo, what about the whiskey? Um, yeah, once you start getting <laughs> into the whiskey, that that could be a problem. Um, a lot of stoolies in Ireland. It was cool just going out to random bars and having like the Irish bartender be like, "Are you the one, Don Don?" No way, <laughs> that's awesome. That's fucking sick. Yeah. yeah, maybe they knew you were coming. I don't know. What's the Blarney uh, Stone? Was- the Blarney Stone, I know you're supposed to kiss it no. for right. or good luck, but apparently, oh my god. Um, yeah. Uh, One bite. Yeah, those are a little too small. Um, they look KB's good, though. Tacos. They look good. Yeah, remember small. that? Yeah, yeah they're very good. Nuts. But apparently all Irish people piss on it constantly because they know all the tourists are, oh. are going are gonna to be kissing it for good luck. That's disgusting. Yeah. That's pretty fucking funny. They're going to yeah. piss on their <laughs> most popular landmark. <laughs> yeah. So that the Shouldn't tourists... Kiss people it. are kissing that? You're supposed yeah, to like they like to. you grab somebody's ankles and like they go down this like slide kind of thing and kiss it, right? I think so. And the tourists are the uh, that's all hilarious. the all the locals pee on it. I would definitely um, pee on it. And there's definitely been dudes who took it too far too. And shit or shit on it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. If someone's peeing, then someone's going crazy. Especially the Irish. Have you ever pissed or shit like at a landmark? No. No. Oh no. Tommy Smoke said he shit where. Uh, from the oh. building JFK was shot from. I cannot um, see Yeah, when I was on the Great Wall of China, my friend got diarrhea, and we were like, okay, you can't just poop on this wall. But he, So he like hung his butt off the wall and shat in a plastic bag and then just like chucked the plastic bag as far as he could off the wall. That'll get, that would have got him in big trouble, I feel like. Yeah. If he was caught in the act. Yeah. yeah. Diarrhea, yeah. If he's going diarrhea on the Great Wall, <laughs> the great wall of China. <laughs> yeah. It's got to be a first. I can't imagine that's happened too many times. Mongolians probably have. Yes. I think. Yeah. And a couple guys. You strip nude uh, in protest during sporting events. Who do? The, uh, the Mongolians. Why? What was the I remember they did this. Uh, it's a cultural thing. One of their wrestlers got screwed and they had the coaching staff just got down to their skivvies and ran <laughs> around. Is there a video? Yeah. It's only skivvies, right? We're not. It's not. Yeah, not parts. totally nude. If it's skivvies, right? It was we'll funny. Show it. That's a good protest. Leave them wanting more, too. I haven't gotten down to my skibbies in a I while. I think it's a way of saying, you have took everything from me. Have my clothes, too. Oh, okay. Is that yes. your Mongolian accent? <laughs> yeah. It's like the move when in uh, Blood Diamond when he's like, where is the diamond? He strips ass naked. <laughs> yeah, and he's I like, think you've that's taken everything. Um, and it was in his ass, yeah. I think. Yeah. No, no, no. He hit it. 
Is Mongolia the least densely populated country? Correct. Oh. Correct. Yep. Um, How'd you guys all know that? I think I watched a YouTube Snapple. video on it. Or something. It said the coldest capital, too. The coldest? I think. Yeah. Ulaanbaatar. Ah. Yeah. yeah. I was I reading. can't show this because uh, it's Olympic footage. They'll take the stream down uh, right away. Fuck the Olympics. <sighs> Fucking set bladder. One time we showed uh, on Pick Central reaction footage from a crowd shot at the Olympics, and the stream went down within 90 seconds. Damn, they got Jeez, bloodhounds. The they got snipers. Who's Another, in charge of the Olympics? What's the guy's name that runs uh, it? I don't know. I just know it, yeah, it's the like IOPC. IOC? But, yeah. But when I covered the Olympics for Barstool, the Winter Olympics, yeah. they were like, we don't think it's a good idea for you to get an actual press pass because then you'll have to follow all the rules. But if you just go as like a guy in the stands, it'll be fine. And I definitely like filmed some events and filmed crowd shots and didn't get in any trouble. Interesting. So if I you think do it's sneaky. I was like flying below their radar. At the Maybe time. the Winter Olympics they have less of an eye on. Did you by yeah. chance film this protest that KB's talking about right now where the guys stripped naked? We could watch that from Skitties? your angle. Is that at the Pyeongchang? <laughs> no, it wasn't. It oh, was okay. about summer. It was Pyeongchang. Fuck. Dang. I feel like the summer are the summer Olympics bigger than the Winter Olympics? I think yeah, so. A lot. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Much bigger. I've always been a more of a Winter Olympics person. Well, yeah, TJ Oshi. TJ Oshi, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You fucking love that guy. I love him. <laughs> My favorite athlete of all time. Damn. Why do you like the winter better? Luge? Skeleton? Bob? No, I just like the hockey. Ah, interesting. But don't like they have the golf? Game. They have the golf in the other one? You don't really love basketball. Or you didn't. Now you do, though. What about no. swimming? I really don't swimming like is great. Swimming well, events track are is awesome. Nice. Track is a blast. Track's fun. Curling is Gymnastics. so fun. Oh, hurling is awesome. Hurling? Yeah. Curling. Hurling. hurling, we've seen well, hurling. Yeah, hurling's sick. That's like one of the yeah. biggest sports in Ireland. We went to a hurling I know, bar. No, they were playing hurling, and I was amazed. And you left our group, and we're just watching hurling. Was yeah. it live or it was the, the live event? Were you guys at that bar up in the Bronx where they play? I don't think so. Okay, yeah. by Owens. Forget the name. Yeah, hurling's sick. I think it's the fastest sport on two feet. <laughs> Is that their slogan? <laughs> <Can't> just, <laughs> just straight up, hundred meter dash. Well, no, because they're hitting that ball. When you oh, the like, speed of the ball, it's it's like the most athletic sport I think of all time. Because you need to I don't know about be that. careful about you saying know, that. Big argument on this show. It 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 crew, have you about when, crew? when we play lacrosse, we have a, like a giant net at the end of the stick, which we use to carry the ball, pass it. When you're playing hurling, it's just like a wooden spoon. Yeah. You have to balance the ball, and then when you want to pass it, you throw it up and then hit it like a baseball It's bat. impressive, but do only women play? No, 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 no it's no. men's. Yeah, but Hitting, hitting a 100-mile-per-hour fastball is theoretically, functionally, and logistically <laughs> impossible. At least it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> the baseball. Uh, oh, I thought that there was a specific person. Is that hubs? <laughs> I don't know. Is that, that your hubs and yeah, that's hubs. <laughs> can, we, can we watch some hurling highlights maybe just some like there because yeah. in the so they got, game aren't a, there like vicious hits like people get fucked yeah, up yeah they used to not really wear pads and then they started wearing gloves because everyone was just shattering their fingers but the goalies still don't wear cups which is insane because all they have is just a slightly larger wooden spoon so the spoon is flat and you have to balance the ball on I think it there's a little yeah. bit of a concave oh, oh shit Whoa. yeah there are a lot of fights too um. Yeah. There's a slight, slight concave. They don't look. They're using. They don't look. Decent. Why not? You have it. <laughs> That's crazy. That rocks. Imagine if hockey players could just smash you with their stick. I mean, they they don't really look beastly, Donnie. No. Yeah. They're very kind of like <laughs> trim. No. That's a strong man physique. No glamour muscles. But this is the yeah, most I don't, athletic, bros. Oh, you gotta. Is there any penalties in this game? <laughs> I, yeah, I actually filmed a video on hurling that, and like, and got to try playing it a little. No, bit. We got the not red the card. Red. They got the hockey helmets. This Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yeah, funny. this guy just brought shit. Wait, that guy's name is Michael yeah, Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> the Michael Jordan of hurling. And what do you have to hit it through the wickets on top? <laughs> no, and then there's just like a net. It's like a <laughs> soccer net, and the goalie just stands in front of the net with a slightly larger wooden spoon, trying to block shots. Which those shots can be going like. 100 miles an hour because you can oh. throw it up and then swing it like a baseball bat. And the ball is hard as a baseball or a cricket ball? 
Um, yeah, all of the footage so. of them fighting looks like it's from like a silent black and white. Comic. <laughs> yeah, it does. when was this filmed? <laughs> They're like jabbing. Yeah, where's Charlie Chaplin? I want to see them yeah. actually play. So far, we've only seen. They're like doing okay. diddly doos, <laughs> <laughs> skiddly walks. Yeah, they are. Oh, that was a head his, kick. He dropped his weapon. He dropped his. Oh my god, the ref. Why not? Is he gonna wrap this in? These guys look like bobbies. They look like yeah. British cops. <laughs> All right, that's enough like out of you. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, all right, all right. All right. That's hilarious. And they're all only shoving. Like, they never, like, reach their shit above their head to bop somebody or no. fucking. <laughs> yeah. Um, curling, though. It. Curling oh, is very cool. No. I remember at the last or two Winter Olympics ago, that's when they had the truth from Duluth. Dude. Yeah. There's an American? Yeah, he was an American, and they won gold. Yeah, I don't know. Really crammed in there. The ugly yeah. ass clothing, too. <laughs> Ugly gear. I don't know if curling is really as cool as this. No. I, just, I, so I don't know what a score is. That guy's pretty jacked. So, yeah, so you can either hit it through the uprights, and that's only like one point, but if you get it into the net goal down below, that's like six or seven. I saw this. When we were watching, the score was like 120 to 110. Okay. See if they have like uh, goal highlights. Why isn't everything just like one and two? Like, why isn't it, like... In tennis, why is it, like, 15, yeah, 30, 40, 45? Why is that, like, why... I don't know. Makes it higher-scoring games feel more exciting? Yes, yeah. Yeah. And if, it, like, a football game was, like, 5 to 4. Yeah. Maybe if hockey games had more, but, I mean, I guess you can't really add something to hockey games. No. Like, a, a, a faraway shot being worth more points? Does that... Is that... It should be. Could be. They, could be. I know they tried that in Major League Lacrosse for a season. They had like a three point goal. Did it suck? Um I don't know if that league is still in business. Or I think they combined with the Premier Lacrosse League. The NBA adding a th an extra like a harder goal made it better, I think. Mm hmm and more exciting, more skilled. Gave it more Definitely. space. The three is so important. Have you guys seen uh, the downhill ice skaters? Oh, yeah. It's awesome. That shit's awesome. That's I've never heard. Those are like me. Red Bull uh, events. Right? Yeah. Of all Red Bull crash ice. Sport. What? Red Bull crashed ice is what Crashed it's ice is what it's called? Yeah, that shit is awesome. awesome. That sounds like a rain. Honestly, like it looks cool fun as hell, yeah. too. Yeah. How does that work? Like, how do they make it? Is it I have no idea how they are they going yeah. over? It's, it's like nuts. jump it's straight. Shit. I don't know how they made it. Oh, my God. That looks terrifying. This is in Fenway Park. Oh. Yeah, it's sick. Yeah, that's awesome. This is Going like a video uphill. game. What? Oh, really? Like, like, this like, should be a video yes. game. Oh, this is fake. This is a video game. This looks like the sport they play in, like, Starship Troopers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a sweet sport. Yeah. They do the... Or like, like oh, no, th this looks now. like a rollerball. Is yeah. that what it's called? Like a derby. I want to see somebody get fucked up. A crash them yeah, up? Yeah, they, the I think they... <laughs> this is insane. They look goofy as hell. Oh. Just, really that's how it ends? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't really give <laughs> them a lot of... Wall. There should be more runway. Of room there. <laughs> what the fuck? Who gets fucked up the most? What sport? Rugby. Football. Well, rugby, that's a beastly uh, crew of men. Yeah, maybe professional bull riding. Every once in a while, those guys in wingsuits. Oh, yeah, they just hit a bridge. Have you seen that video? Yeah. That dong. There's oh, I, wait, what do you mean there's... fucked up? Like, hurt? Like, fu I guess, like... Oh, I thought you meant drink the most. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. I thought you rugby meant drink would the be most. That's why, yeah, that's why I said rugby. Definitely the wingsuits. They die. Yeah, they get turned to mist. They die so fast and yeah. so hard. <laughs> they, they, at... They're the most dead people. Yeah, no one's ever died. Wait, what before. happens when they die? Dude, they, they hit, hit like a, a bridge, bridge, and then they just they explode. They turn to mist? They explode? Yeah, oh, they pop. Like the dudes in the summer. Exactly like the dudes in the summer. That video, I think it was on my Twitter timeline. It was just like... The dudes in the what? Oh, the summer. The, yeah. I mean, they're going like a thousand miles per hour, and then they just come to a dead stop. Yeah. Like the, their heels end up going through the top of their skull. Yeah. That's just all part of the rush, dude. They just walk it off like they're an accordion. <laughs> <laughs> all part of the rush of the wingsuit lifestyle. 50% of those dudes have to die. Oh, yeah. I I know it does have the highest mortality rate. Okay. I think you're just doing it suicide. until you die. Yeah. 
You're like, there's no, no one retires from wingsuit. No. You just die. Nobody folds up their wingsuits like I'm no. done. No. It's, <laughs> they just die hard. Can you look up the statistics, TJ? Um, what I've seen. All right, so it's one in 500 wingsuit jumps results in death. That's, that's pretty Compare high. that to a high disease. That is so high. Yeah. Yeah. That's so high. That, are, that is terrible statistics. Yeah. Compare that There's to like how a many? curable cancer. <laughs> yes. Imagine there if like 500 flying on people? airplanes at a one in 500, like no one would fly. Only 400 deaths total though. That that doesn't, so one death per 5,000 jumps. So There's that's probably not that many people that do it. Yeah. There have been 20,000 jumps. Since 81, that's, that's too many. 400. A one wrong. in 500 I mean, chance of death. I'm trying, what, what can we compare that to? N- uh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Can we, what about like the Vietnam War? How many in five hundred oh, died in probably, Vietnam? Probably more than yeah, more in Vietnam. Korean War. Living amongst bears in Alaska. That, that guy was zero for one. And then must have been a girl a too. Oh, she got got. Mm, yeah. yeah, she did. Yeah, that they kind of the, the Grizzly Man documentary didn't even like give her any um, limelight. Oh, she died in that. Yeah, she got mauled to I death. I think she, she was got like to death as well. She, but she was. That was like her first time out there with him, wasn't it? Right, but she. <laughs> that's even worse. She came to visit him. He probably he convinced her it was safe. On. He deserved to die. He knew he was going to die eventually, right? I don't. No, think he so. got. He was so delusional. He thought he had some pact and connection with the bear. I thought he called out the bear that was going to kill he him. Did yeah? He knew that bear was trouble. No, he knew the bear was trouble, but he truly believed that he was. <laughs> this one's trouble. Don't mind him, though. Yeah, and you, and you look into the bear's eyes, and you could see. See what? You could see that the the bear <laughs> didn't fuck care with about him. him. <laughs> yeah, obviously. You could look into his eyes and tell all that. Yeah. Shit. I think it was also. I I think he had something where he was like, I'd rather die than ki- than like kill one of the bears by defending myself. Right. He he said he wouldn't shoot. One. Yeah, he didn't want to shoot but, one of the bears. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. didn't deserve to shoot them for sure. So that was suicide too. But he did it for fucking a so, long time. Right. Yeah, he lasted longer than people expected. And, like, if you, you know, if you think that you hacked the code, you're probably like, oh, I'm good. I've been chilling with these bears, eating with these bears. Right. I don't he know. He wasn't there 24-7. He was there for the summers. Didn't right? that happen to a lion guy, too? Like, a guy like... uh it happens all the time. It's people. They had a lion. Like, he like let the lion go, and then he would go back and visit the lion. Then yeah. eventually, the lion killed him. But I, I guess mountain lions, or I guess lions kill people. But mountain lions really don't. No, they scare yeah. me. I've seen the videos though of them like stalking people and like people who have survived mountain lion attacks. I think. I, yeah, I made that up to be honest. Chip, yeah, chimpanzees I, rip off faces like it's the end of a Scooby Doo episode. Oh yeah. Dude. They they'll, kill. they'll rip your nuts off, yeah. stuff them in your mouth, uh, <laughs> and just like scream in the nastiest yeah. way possible yeah. during it. There's always those videos of the of them in the zoo, and they're just sitting up against the glass, smiling, just waiting. It's, it's horrible, waiting for somebody to, to put their arm through the yeah. bars, and they'll just rip your arm off yeah. and have it. I love seeing a gorilla like smash glass at a glue at a zoo. They are, they're out. they're scary as fuck too. Yeah, when they kill baby deers, they just rip them limb by limb. They eat them? Yeah, they will. They will eat Gorillas me. do? Oh, it's I like, guess they eat That's the worst way. It's like, just bite me in the throat, put me out of my misery. Don't just like rip my arm off and rip my leg off. When uh, the buffalo that I saw get killed in uh, in Africa, they said they bite down on its face and suffocate it. That's like the fastest way than even like ripping through their uh, neck. But so they're, they're humane? Uh, I think it's maybe just for, for expediency's sake. But then uh, Dan Rappaport sent me a video that he he must be on a safari right now. He's it was of uh he saw three lions killing a zebra, dude. Jeez. It was so insane, and they were going for its neck. And the noises the zebra was uh, making are haunting. Yeah, hyenas uh, just go for ball sacks. They grab they? ball sacks and just latch no. on. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Those assholes. I know. Dudes in Nigeria just walk around with pet hyenas. What? So did uh, Harley Quinn. <laughs> I guess she did. Where's she from? She's from New York. Okay. She's a New Yorker. <laughs> oh, Harlequin. Yeah. Harlequin. Oh, I never put that together. Did you really not? I swear. Me neither, honestly. I'm an idiot. Is Harlequin a clown? Yeah, no, she's the like Joker's a... girlfriend. 
It's like a he treat he doesn't treat her right. <laughs> he's, a re- he's a real dick. <laughs> that Joker. <laughs> I feel like the Joker's not really fit for a girlfriend. Isn't he supposed to be like the captain of the incels? Are you fucking jealous? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. She should be mine. If he had a girlfriend, uh, if he had a real girlfriend, he wouldn't be doing all that crazy shit. He wouldn't be acting up. Maybe that's what the Joker 2 will be about. Getting pussy? Getting nagged? Yeah, he gets pussy once, and he's like, I gotta wash this fucking face paint off. <laughs> I look what like an idiot. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just he just door dashes some fucking makeup wipes instantly. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Gaga is playing Harley Quinn in really? in the Joker too. It's a musical. It's a musical, yeah. yeah. Come on, bro. That I sucks. bet it'll be good. No, that sucks so bad. It sucks I, that we all gotta wait I for it. To get I don't like musical movies. Yeah, they suck. Love La La Land uh, sucked uh, so ooh. bad. Sweeney Todd was cool. Tick, tick, Sweeney boom. Todd. <laughs> Tick Tick Boom's the greatest movie of all. Oh no, that I tried to watch that and it was the shittiest thing I've ever seen. I switched over to hyenas. Ninety balls. Oh, they're singing "Happy Birthday." You just want to lay down and cry. That's a musical about a musical. Yeah, I know. So that it, that so couldn't be gayer. No, it's good. <laughs> Dude, the the gay shit is Ariana Grande's new. Uh, Man, him, him doing being Squidward, Sponge, Sponge oh yeah, Sp- theater. Oh I didn't see that. Wait, you, yeah, yes. dude, <laughs> his oh, clips yes. of him being SpongeBob, <laughs> just dancing with like the squeaky ass shoe noise. <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> and she dude, was like, "I gotta fuck this guy." And Ariana Grande amazing. said she had to fuck him, and he immediately went to his wife and was like, "We're getting divorced." <laughs> oh yeah, he. That's standard though. <laughs> he divorced the fuck out of his wife so viciously. Like he just just for like one sniff of Ariana Grande, <laughs> yeah. He just got so lost in it, and he SpongeBob. I haven't seen him SpongeBob dance. Oh, it's though. so <laughs> funny. <laughs> I gotta see it. I want to see it so bad. She's every race. Yeah, there's no, oh, no. She's the, white. <laughs> you ever seen the pictures of her Italian. with every single race? Yeah, she's yeah. got them all. It's hilarious. Build up the Pokedex. I guess that SpongeBob guy looks exactly like her brother. Yeah. People think it's just like a weird. What's her brother's name? Thing. Jump out oh. of bed, mix up a breakfast for my favorite pet snail. Yeah. Full steam ahead, the SSI in ready is about to set sail. This kind of day couldn't get much better, but it keeps on trying. Yeah. Oh. On day, somewhere there's a crabby patty that needs for I thought they would have him wearing a suit or something. No, Same. that's I just SpongeBob. <laughs> You really have to like suspend belief, like suspend your belief. Damn! I didn't really do much with that set either. I think this is on Good Morning America. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, so he's kind of like big in the scene in the SpongeBob theater scene. He's SpongeBob. He was SpongeBob during Broadway. Oh, that's, run on that's Broadway. his thing. Is that how they met? Yeah, well, I don't know. But they must be in something <laughs> together right now. Yeah, they have to be in some sort of music. Unless she's playing. I could barely believe that he was SpongeBob there. That's probably the bigger production with him. And that, that you could tell that's Patrick. Yeah. Patrick, a lesbian. Perfect day. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him up. <laughs> he's got to be dumb and athletic. For he's probably like five three and fucking bouncy. But he fucks right. like he's six four. Yeah, he fucks. <laughs> he fucks hard. <laughs> His dick ain't spongy. No, no, no. no. Hard. Just no. one Hard hole. is the rock that Patrick <laughs> sleeps on. Comes from it. Dick. <laughs> Dude. He... Uh, how do you think Big Sean feels? Like, oh, yeah. Man. Fine. I think he feels fine. Yeah. Big Sean like, Eskimo Bros someone... was SpongeBob. <laughs> no, but Big Sean's pro- He's probably just like. She was like the most sought after girl in America. Was she? Ariana? What, she, what, she was what year? What year? Top, I would Didn't say like 2014. 14? She always just looked like she was thirteen. Yeah, that's yeah. what. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. that's what's good about it. That, that, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. She's a legal thirteen year old. Oh, that's all part of the appeal. Yeah. 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 No, it is for some. Yeah. Yes, exactly, Donnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I grew up watching her on fucking Nickelodeon. I forgot she was yeah, on that. She got Maybe that's how she met SpongeBob. Yeah, it must yeah. be. Yeah. Work retreat. Yeah. <laughs> a company picnic. She just sucks SpongeBob's dick. <laughs> Goes home to Pete Davidson. I would be pissed if my girls started dating SpongeBob. I mean, it's just an L for her. I don't really she think. She dated the hottest and best of all time. Who? Mac Miller? 
Mac Miller, Pete Davidson, Big Sean. Like these are all these are all pretty. Right. Those are heavy hitters. Those are heavy hitters to have. Like, those are nice pelt but Also, I mean, he's <laughs> more famous ball. than all of them. Yeah, way more yes. famous. <laughs> also, is. Pete Davidson wasn't Pete Davidson before he started dating Ariana Grande. So who knows what's going to happen with SpongeBob? Saturday Night Live, but yeah, yeah, but not huge. He was just like the young kid on Saturday Night yeah. Live. He's going to be the, like the new Fezco on Euphoria. Oh probably. yeah, He'll probably have some edgy ass role. Yeah. Mix. Fezco, rest in peace. But he was discovered just like working at a restaurant or a bar. And someone walked yeah. in and was like, "You look perfect for this show I'm casting." And then so, he got the role, which I mean, that's that was dream. the narrative. But I went to his Wikipedia, and he went to like the same performance performance art school as zendaya oh really okay so i don't know if i he thought was he wasn't he wasn't like, a complete like that's propaganda they tell people to oh. move to brooklyn yeah they said like, the yeah, same shit with selected. the mid 90s movie right they were like all these guys are real skaters that we found on the street then they're no. like all real actors yeah who have had yeah. multiple roles before and after um it's a real shit. And Taylor Joy, that girl. Anya Taylor Joy, yeah, yeah. Anya, she said her career got started. Some like model casting agent like followed her and her mom down the street, Ramley, and just like grabbed her and was like, "You're gonna be a star." That's a crazy profession. Gonna, yeah. Scouting get, teens. Yeah. yeah. In the wild. Yes. You. You come with me. You're come perfect. to my studio. It is That's scary weird. though because people will just will buy into that. They'll be like, "Really, me? Okay." Like imagine the people who went, who had that same scam happen to them and didn't wind up being famous. Who were just told in the supermarket with their mom like to follow some guy and he'll make them a, a famous model. It's probably like ninety nine percent of them. Yeah, yeah, that was all in the malls. I remember they always the used to have the, they used to just have like a fucking table. All fashion up. shows yeah. too. Ken Jack is trying to make his cat into a star. What? Um, because I guess he met someone who's like, <laughs> what? Yeah, what? <laughs> Ken Jack met someone and they're like, yeah, my cat does modeling gigs and brings in an extra like 5k a month for us. Jesus. And then he's like, a lot of people tell me my cat's really attractive. <laughs> so that's so like. Why don't the model agencies just buy a cat? <laughs> yeah, buy a cat. <laughs> yeah. That can't be worth it. Yeah. Yes, What's you just the budget you crack <laughs> yeah. 5000 a month. They have to hire cats. Yeah. Aren't cats like $30? Yeah. <laughs> Those cats are they're probably free. Yeah. yeah. They're just out there. Yeah, so I don't know. I think they, they like did um a photo shoot for the cat. They're sending it out to modeling agencies. That's crazy. Nepo cat. <laughs> Ken Jags works for Barstool. Yeah. We should use it in something. That's a uh, Ken Jack must have had something bad happen to him yesterday. Why? He was his tweet about like the Madison Square Garden is <laughs> surrounded it. by like fentanyl, like it, it's an open air fentanyl market, and like people are dying or like overdosing on the streets. No one's doing anything about it. Yeah, something, something, true something that. shitty must He's have right, happened. Right, but he must have gotten r- raped yeah. or something. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be it. <laughs> That's honestly what it is, though. Like anytime, anytime that you start complaining about the homeless people, it's usually something really something, bad happened. Yeah, to you yeah that something day. just happened to you, yeah. dude. I was, well, I walked past you yesterday, and I, right after I saw you, I got, was threatened to be stabbed by a shirtless, shoeless man. Not with the the two dog guy. No, 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 no. Another one. He has real long, crazy hair. Nick got molested at fist point. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> spread your cheeks for me. Okay, as long as you unclench your fist. <laughs> Just put the hand down. <laughs> uh, oh, man, but the dude with the two... Lower dog. your voice. <laughs> you can have me any way you want. <laughs> Just, l- Just yeah. spread, don't spread yell. People are looking. Ugh. I got threatened. To, I got some dude threatened to poke me to death outside of Madison Square Garden. Damn. He said, "I'm gonna poke you to death." That would Damn. Take so that long. was slang for stab. Yeah, but it was just funny that he said poke. Yeah. Just, to death too. Yeah. How long do you think that would last? A long. It would probably hurt a lot. <laughs> what if you died after like 15? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this sucks. I mean, if they really went with like the thumb, they could probably. Where in like the heart? I don't know. My uh, drafting teacher uh, lost his finger. He was a machinist, and he had, like, this really calloused nub. And when you were drafting and, like, you were, like, looking at your phone, he would poke you real hard in the back of the head with it. The nub? Yeah. Ooh. There's, like, no nerve endings. It probably didn't even hurt him. No, it didn't. I think it was a club. Yeah. So gross. I liked him. What's drafting? Like, the architecture tables and... Uh, oh, yeah. 
Damn. What he just? What? How did he lose his shit? I think machinists lose their fingers all the time. That's fucking crazy. Even just working in like a wood shop or some shit. Any t- like even m- using like a circular saw makes me nervous as fuck. Circular saw technology is crazy. As soon as moisture gets like yeah. a two centimeters away, it drops down. It like exp- the, the saw like explodes. It, it breaks the yeah. saw. Like watch a oh, slow mo of somebody putting a hot dog. Crazy, to the yeah, yeah, yeah. We had that when I was in. When I took like shop class in like eighth grade. Someone it happened to someone, and it was like the loudest bang. Because it's like the saw is coming to a complete stop and like shooting down into the thing. But like instantly. It's a crazy. Yeah. It's, it's so a they, crazy did, did the person technology. get cut? No, oh. not at all. What? Oh. Drops yeah. that fast. Yeah, you have to call like the specialist. It like totals the machine. Yeah, it fucks it up. <laughs> oh. Oh, he got cut. <laughs> That's so crazy. People must have been losing the. Like for that technology yeah. to be necessitated, people must That's have been losing. Sad. No, oh. dude, the sh- the scariest shit about those those uh, table saws is that if you when you're cutting something on like and an, an, if you're cutting like a straight line, if you accidentally like hit an angle, it shoots back. Yeah, it'll shoot back like thirty miles per hour, like and just slam the wall behind you. And it's That's fucking scary. scary. Yeah. That's scarier than I thought. That was because I was like, well, at least if I hit the saw, it'll stop. Yeah, there's a hot dog. So. That's crazy. In slow. Oh my god. Wow. That is genius technology. Yeah. Yeah, see it's all rattling around in there. Cool. What the fuck is that even sensing? How do you sense moisture like that on a well, damn, I'm glad they're making shit like that, but there must have been just be a yak brew some stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's oh going to work. God. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I don't really trust it. Me either. I know it does work, but I no, no, no. I've never tried. I don't put it on, Sass. <laughs> Let's have these guys throw it on. We get Chef Donnie to do it. He would do it. He's probably done it. He, he wants the wingsuit. Knife game that fucking terrifies yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even like watching the videos of that. Yeah, I'm glad he stopped with that. Yeah. I don't think he did. I think he's just he's just he's, he's just doing he's it getting covert. bored. I hate when he shows how sharp the knife is, too. He'll, like, take it to a piece of paper, and it just goes straight through. Yeah. That makes me not. That makes me, oof. Even, did you, any of you guys do lowering the bar yesterday? No. What was it? Gold pig's feet. But it's just, like, the flesh. Yeah. You're just, like, peeling the flesh off and, like, oh. making a sandwich out of it. And it just so similar to human flesh. <laughs> yeah, I think tattoo artists practice on pig skin. <coughs> With or without the pig's consent? Well, I don't know. Can you get rid of the scent? <laughs> no consent. Oh, these fucking pigs are just tatted up. Pig feet, my favorite food. You really what? like them like that? Didn't you? We yeah, had yeah. Had it at home. Yeah. Zaz's mom makes a mean pig's trotter. I can't have them pickled though, like a raw one pickled. Yeah. Like, what? Well, how oh, do you guys what? prepare them? Pan uh, fry, stew, stew. stew? Yeah, 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 like stew. They stew. probably also good. fried oh, like a fried German too, yep. crispy pork knuckle. That's delicious. It's great. Is it, is it meaty? Uh, very fatty. Uh, depends on the pig, actually. Depends on uh, some. Some it tends to be more fattier than than meaty, but the meat the meat's very tasty. Americans yeah. don't eat enough fat. Is that true? Well, just like like healthy fats. And I was growing up, like I was taught, oh, you should cut the fat off your steak. And then, like I when I do. got to China, like a lot of their pork dishes just have huge slabs of fat on them, and people eat them all up and. I find started that a to as well. Hard to pretty digest pretty sometimes, though, like something that's too fatty. Oh, dude, like if I wind up chewing on something so too good. long, yeah, really? that's like a perfectly cooked. Yeah, I had steak melty last fat. night, and the fat was just <laughs> closing my eyes while eating it. Just going, oh my. Did you make it? Oh. Where'd you Where'd you get it? No, I got it at the stand. Oh, pretty good steaks over there, huh? Yeah, really good. I got good food over there, and good shows. Totally. <laughs> Have you ever cooked your own steak? Oh yeah, I make a mean steak. Oh nuts. No. Yeah. On a you know what I like chasing. Who is this man? He is there. touching the ceiling with his head. Oh. <laughs> that is the that tallest is a, person that is I have ever seen in my entire seven, life. Hunter Dick and seven seven. Okay. <laughs> yeah. oh, that is the tallest man basketball. I've ever seen. Hunter or Dick. Now Kansas basketball, right? Holy yeah. shit. Six <laughs> ten. Saskia, talk to him. Hell no. Oh, we have some boys waiting on Zoom to uh, talk to us. It's uh, one of the Able Brothers' opponent dropped out. Correct me if I'm wrong, TJ. So we have uh, yes. his new opponent joining us. 
They're joining. Oh. They're joining. They're joining. They're, joining. they're here. Oh, they're already joining in the process? They're joining. They're joining. West Virginia Wi-Fi might be a problem here. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, shit. Did Tyler go out to L.A.? No. Yes. What? Well, you said yesterday. Oh, <laughs> oh this only happens to Tyler. Yeah, bad stuff yeah. only happens to Tyler. And only bad stuff happens to Tyler, too. But it works both ways. Tyler flew to L.A. yesterday for a podcast we were supposed to record today that got canceled oh. last night. So I didn't have to fly there. He just flew there, and he's flying back tonight. <laughs> oh. And that's his second time this week coming back from... Well, he flew from L.A. to Atlanta last time. He loves smoking loud, though, and he probably gets yeah. some good stuff out, good shit out there. But he missed his flight to Atlanta, so he he's like, the only thing he can hang his hat on is the Delta points, but he missed his flight to Atlanta, and when they reschedule the flight, you get no points. So he's just going left to right. That's crazy. No fucking, oh my nothing God. to show for it. The only thing that he... <laughs> the poor fucking guy, dude. And he has a fucking hostel running out of his house. Why doesn't he just stay in L.A. for a couple of days, take yeah, a vacation? Yeah, why not? But here we go. We have uh, some guests on the line. Whoa, uh, whoa, hello, whoa. What the heck? Fleming, you motherfucker. Is this your champion? Yeah. Fleming, are you <laughs> are, are you on an edible? This <laughs> is, <laughs> you know what, this is. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, no, I just had a, a run <laughs> Sounding good, sounding good. They have a sign on for us. Everything they told the waste. I know for a fact that's, that's wheeling Wi Fi, dude. And it, it, it takes like uh, 30 minutes to even hit you. Yeah, well, I'm on wheeling Wi Fi. I'm in wheeling. Oh, yeah. I think uh, Jenks is wheeling too. Are you in wheeling yet, Jenks? Oh, you're not together. We're getting a single frame at a time right now, Frank. It's like a Frank PowerPoint. Yeah, Neuralink is working in Kiev, but not in wheeling. Jenks, your Jenks, talk to us. Whatever world. Those eyes are coming hey in guys. smaller than I've ever seen eyes before. <laughs> <laughs> Jenks, you are stepping Can you up. Me? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah hear fine. You. Loud and clear. Yeah, I mean, I, I just hear this guy slandering the pirate ship and going after the king. I figured the least I could do is just fucking hop in a car, come here, and see what I can do. So you drove to West Virginia? And, and you know the thing is this. <laughs> Jenks has had less than 48 hours to train. So, um, Mr. Uh, Owen Unable is uh, actually, uh, he's in a no-win situation. He wins, he beats somebody with no training. I mean, if, if Jenks had, if Jenks had uh, a month to train, Spencer uh, Unable, there, or Owen Unable, as I like to call him, uh, would, think... uh, would have no shot in the world. No shot in the world. And if he wins, he beats, he beats a guy that didn't have any training. So, this guy, this loser, has, uh, is in a no-win situation. I mean, it, this is... This is all about trying to uh, trying to bury the Unable Brothers. And uh, if, uh, if Owen Unable loses his fight, you should have to change his name permanently to Owen Unable. That sounds like a cyborg. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Have you ever boxed before, Jenks? Oh, no. No. <laughs> no boxing <laughs> experience, no fighting experience. Oh. Uh, you my like, friends I... back home are very afraid for my life. I mean, no, you got to be confident with this guy, right? You got you got to be pretty confident, and you're definitely in better shape than him. Oh, I didn't say I'm afraid for my life. I said my I said my friends are. Okay. Uh, what do you? What's your strategy? Are you going jabs or you're just going haymakers only? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he has he has. Jabs Honestly, it's going to be spur of the pounds. moment. I'm going to have to feel out how he's moving. And this is a good-ass I love this. We only are talking over each other, and when we wait, he freezes this is, out. This is the world's worst conversation. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Somebody want to try to talk? Um, Jags, I think you're going to wallop him. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting there. It's getting there. Words get. Oh no, we lost Jake. We lost Jake, but we got Fleming. <laughs> Fle yeah, Fleming. Oh no, no, stay, stay, well, stay, stay, Sass. This is the best part. Fleming, uh, uh, Jake's yeah, gonna Sass, win easily. Well, the, the thing about Spencer Unable is uh, he's famous. Uh, he's the uh, one boxer that actually lost to uh, Glass Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Fleming. Oh, You've man. been saying a lot of stuff, Frank. Can you remind us what the genesis of the Able Brothers' beef with you is? What do they have against you? 
because I'm at Alfonati every time I see them lose. So I just called and started calling them the Unable Brothers. And he came at you. What did he say to you? He, he knocked my hat off. Oh, oh. I remember that. Yeah. yeah, you don't do that. You do not knock someone's hat off. That's all. Well, I think he's going to he, – someone might be getting I their mean, block got, knocked off. Go ahead. Uh, I thought that said – They're feeble. I mean, uh, they're basically the uh, Mets of, uh, of Rough and Rowdy. Amen to that. Unbelievable. I think that this – I mean – this is a headliner right now. If you want a storyline behind a fight, this is the kind of thing that you're looking for. And this rough and rowdy crowd uh, card was pretty complete as it was. But now that Muerte Blanca, the able brother or unable brother, as Frank calls it, is fighting against Jenks for Frank's Muerte honor. Muerte Blanca. What does that mean? Does yeah, that mean he change uh, his name? Does that mean, uh, blank, <laughs> Muerte uh, Blanca? Brain, uh, no it brain? means dead white. <laughs> I mean, yeah, White Death, I think. White Death, yeah, but, uh, but Dead White. <laughs> Let's just call him Dead White. He changed his Dead name? White? Or is that, a, is that graphic I incorrect? Mean, no, that's I right. Mean, the other Able Brother has a different nickname. I mean, I mean that, that, that name couldn't scare a fucking old woman. Yeah, Mm-mm. because he's as white as a corpse. Thank you. That's yeah, they call him Dead White. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, I didn't realize he's 0-4 as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I assumed yeah. he maybe won his first. Yeah, they call him Owen. That's why I call him Owen. <laughs> He's 0-4. Oh, my God. Uh, Jenks, has he reached out to you? Has he acknowledged you, talked any shit on you yet? Not yet, but I think that'll probably happen in a couple hours at the weigh-in. Oh, you're, are you in Wheeling now? Yes. I left at, like, 5 in the morning with my buddy so I could take my work calls in the car, got here, weigh-in tonight. I'm going to try to get some time with Large to get my full training in for the fight. Yeah. Um you know, kind of cram it in the night before type of situation. I did watch Rocky last night, which was super helpful. That'll do. And then, yeah, just jam it out, see what the fuck happens. I think that you're at an advantage because... I mean, just, just keep in mind, this is a guy who has no training. He's going into the ring completely as the Neil fight doesn't even... And, and, and he has a chance because Spencer Abel sucks. <laughs> <laughs> just the fact that he has this thing has a, a chance shows you how much the able brothers suck. Oh man, yeah, this is a good match, and I it's think it's not that, bad luck. They just suck. Just having a whole month of uh, anxiety would be at a disadvantage oh, for yeah. me. I'd be worrying about it every day, just finding out at the last second that you're doing it. Only one night of worrying ab- about it, and you know you're in the shape that you're going to be in. And you just go and put on a show for the people. Just another reason to to buy Rough and Rowdy. You get it on YouTube too. You just no matter where you're I at. I appreciate that. What's that, brother? Sorry, I interrupted. No, I appreciate that. I was thinking the same thing. I mean, it probably would have been more stressful waiting for a month. It would have been helpful to like practice boxing, but it's going to be an adrenaline fight, and I'm going to go in like a fucking rhinoceros. The fans are going to get exactly what they want, which is total pandemonium, and we'll see what happens. There we go, brother. This isn't a boxing match. This is a brawl. Rough and rowdy's a brawl, and you're going in there to brawl. You don't want to worry too much about the ins and outs of boxing. You're going all in there to put on a show, get in a brawl, and most importantly, to defend Frank the Tank's honor. I mean, what? my my advice would be to, is is don't let him don't get don't let him land a big punch, and uh, d- d- just go at him and be aggressive and yeah. put him on his put him on his Heels and then make put him on back. Yes, yes, that sounds that's good. That's how you would be the best manager in the game. Now, Frank, do you have any plans for wheeling? Are you gonna like go out to eat tonight? Do you want any wrecks? Ooh, silver chopsticks. Uh, mm-hmm. silver chopsticks. That's like, Chinese. Yeah, that's a good Chinese. Well, uh, I just was, I just I just went to a place. Uh, well. I'll see where I'm going to go tonight after the way. I'll figure out. We'll figure out something. Just text me I for Rex. Uh, doing a raw dog. I, I just finished doing a raw dog episode at a place called Uncle Pete's. Yep, I texted you. They, oh, they have a line, yeah. They have a sign, uh, that they have a sign out there that says uh, it's worth the wait. And um, it, it took 10 minutes just for them to even like take my name down. How was the hot dog? I mean... <laughs> Oh boy! Oh, not Uncle Pete! Oh, I, I no. love those guys. They're ruined. <laughs> He'll be out of business in a week. Now. 
<laughs> oh, come on, Frank. Oh, no. I know those guys. He knows Uncle Pete. Jesus, I should have never recommended it. Oh, it's no. in the same building as a physical therapy so, office. Yeah. So, so it'll, be staying, uh, it'll, be, it'll be spared for a while. Thank goodness. Good shit. Well, Jenks, you're an absolute legend for stepping up. If yeah. people didn't have a reason to buy Rough and Rowdy already, this is a pretty fucking good reason to buy Rough and Rowdy. We're going to have a fight with stakes inside the Barstool universe, and I guess made the best man win. That's the only way to call that one. Appreciate you, Frank. Appreciate you, Jenks. We'll see you guys tomorrow on, at Rough and Rowdy. You can get that thing on YouTube. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, or buy R and R dot com. Of course, you. thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys. Wow, uh, Spencer Abel has to have fifty pounds on Jenks. Sixty? I don't know. They've lost weight since they uh, uh, started, so it's. Uh, this is the smaller of the Abels. Oh, okay. Yeah. So they're twin. They're twins, though. They're so big they're, body, though. Yeah, yeah it's kind of built like a lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. And Jenks is jacked. Yeah. Jenks is. I mean, if it was a peck. If it was a peck competition, Jenks would be taking him to the cleaners. Jenks is all pecs. Being Muerte Blanco, uh, <laughs> choosing to be that at 0-4 is really funny. <laughs> Time for a rebrand. <laughs> I know what the problem's been. This might be the rebrand, though. And Muerte Blanco might be 0-0. Has he, done, has he shown anything in his past fights? Promise. Uh... Entertaining. I mean, they, they fought against each other. Very entertaining, but uh, they both went through the ropes. Remember? Them over the oh, ropes. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. awesome. I was there for that one. Were you? Yeah. It was you and G Ben. Yeah. It's that fucker. <laughs> <laughs> when they, in, you know, in the Hanukkah song, when Adam Sandler's like the owner of the Seattle, Seattle Supersonicas celebrates Hanukkah. Yeah. Is he talking about? No, because when they bought him, they moved him out of Seattle. But that when that song came out, oh, oh, that was when he okay. So he he bought them and immediately moved them, yeah. unless it came out during that one year. But that was already in the two thousands. Yeah. Okay, so that couldn't have been about. Yeah, uh, nah. That would have been awesome. That song for probably like ten years of my life was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Where was the best song? It's still hilarious. Yeah, yeah. good. His albums were hilarious. That like, what the hell happened to me? Comedy album. And now really the severe beating of a high school janitor. It's yeah. just like, why? That's a preposterous skit to have. Just like a 45 second skit of a dude just getting the shit beat out of him. Oh my God. It was like, that was the pinnacle. They had the farting hypnot, uh, the farting hypnotist. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that one. Then that, like the grandma who was always like, why don't you play with your cock and balls? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> and then the psychotic legend of uncle Donnie was on one of his albums. And it was the fucking about, goat dude, the toll booth guy, bro. There's fucking old booth. Willie. Oh, booth Willie. Is, this, is this music or strictly skits? Oh, these skits. were just like skits on a CD. That, nice. Um, the psychotic legend of Uncle Donnie, he was like, this boat's got more balls than the Celtics locker room. <laughs> and, and that's when, uh, so he's on like a boat and he's taking his friends and he accidentally runs over all of his friends <laughs> while they're trying to water ski. And then the police he's come over, they're like, hey, ever a sketch? Like a- oh, I, somehow he does it. It's incredible. <laughs> it sounds so <laughs> good. No and then the you beers. hear the engine revving and it's like, <laughs> yeah, that, and the, the cops come over, they're like, sir, have you been drinking? He's like, so I've had a couple glasses of Chardonnay. <laughs> what of it? <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. And they, dude, one of my uh, my friend that lives in New York played basketball with him the other day. Everybody in New York, yeah, my friend, dude, thing, he yeah. ju- my friend just moved to New York like a month or two months ago, and he was playing pickup basketball. And he said that someone came over, and he was just like, "Do you guys mind if I play with you?" And it was Adam Sandler. Holy shit. Didn't someone in the, this treat. office play against so him? With Tim- Timothy Chalamet. I'll play with Chalamet. Yeah, he Chandler. said it was the day after the Timothy Chalamet thing. I, I would rather shoot hoops with Sandler. Oh, yeah. He said he was cry- He was just crying laughing the whole time. Like, he couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. And how insane it was that he was playing basketball oh. with Adam Sandler. Oh, I thought he was telling jokes. No. Yeah, I believe it would be insane to be there, but, like, the amount of people that freak out anytime someone posts a video yeah. of Adam Sandler playing basketball, it's like... He's loved basketball his whole life. Like, yeah. He's a guy. Like, no, no. KB be... thinks that he does it all no. for fucking show. Uh, KB that was Nick. No, 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 no. That was KB was hating no, on it. I'd never hated on that. He I mean, dude, bat- <laughs> cat, no, I, no. Hate, I hate on the fits. No, I think it's intentional. it was KB, bro. Oh, the fits? Yeah, those are intentional. No, I think it's those are just comfortable as hell. But you, he changes if he matches too well. Nah. 
You guys are haters. Haters. Yeah. They're haters. Hate Sandler. They both hate on You're Adam hater. Sandler. Oh, like the <laughs> most wholesome guy. All right. Yeah, I am. Oh, I guess he, he matches really well. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but he probably, if his shorts are too short, he may change. Well, he only has baggies probably. Yeah. It looks like a fucking blast. I never see them getting worked, which I think uh, would, that's what I don't like. No, he's a baller. It's gotta be, Did you see that? I feel like the guys take it too easy on these celebs. Like Putin playing hockey. Yeah. 12 goals. He's yeah. playing against yeah. like... <laughs> he picks out like... Livery drivers. It's like random games. He's not going to like Rutgers Park. Yeah, but I want to see him get stuffed once. Because he's diamond. I think he's more of just a cool he passer. Yeah, he's, yeah, those he's, yeah, I'm not a hater. Yes, you are. I am. Fine. Yes, you are. I know. I'm trying to hide it. Shit. He said, my my friend said that they, like, they didn't even ever acknowledge that he was Adam Sandler. I think that's the move. Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm Adam Sandler. Yeah, because, like, the <laughs> longer of a time you don't make a huge deal of it, the longer he'll play. If yeah. you start freaking out, yeah. and making him, like, pause for photos, he's, he'll find a new court. He's fucking nice, dude. Who hasn't hooped with Adam Sandler? That's what I'm saying. Everybody in New York gets a hooping. chance. My boy Huey hooping. Mac in L.A. hooped with him. Really? Yeah. Of course Huey did. <laughs> <laughs> That's Chalamet with the hezzy hay. Tween, tween. They were definitely going easy on Chalamet. Yeah. The soy boy. His twink ass. <laughs> you see, see, that pass by Adam Sandler went nowhere. He yeah. tried to do some fancy shit. I want to know what movie they're They're not even together. trying to play defense on, on Timothy. He sweat through his shirt, though. Well, Sandler's putting in that work. He's probably got to make up for all the fucking the slack from Chalamet. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, Timmy, this sucks. He's better than I would expect. Sandler was saying his mom had a really hard time watching him die in uh, <laughs> Uncut Gems because he's never, like, died in movies before. Like, he's always done kind of, like, happy-go-lucky movies. Yeah. He doesn't die, and, like, his mom was, like, traumatized. So he had to, like, reassure her, like... Click Click was pretty fucking traumatic. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. That movie was sad as hell. Mm. I couldn't. E- I can't even think about rewatching that. I'll watch Punch Drunk Love or Spanglish. Before Funny I throw People on was click. sad too. If Funny I People pop on the Cobbler. Sad. I never cobbler? even watched Funny People. Cobbler. I think he's yeah. I think it's one of his nine eleven movies. Did he have? That's my boy. Is one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. It's Marty Mush's favorite movie. Really? Yeah. That movie's hysterical. I don't think I've seen it. It's funny as fuck. I think I have either. Eight Crazy Nights, bro? What? No, wait. Is that the one that ends with the plots about incest? No. He just had- Andy Samberg? Yeah, but it's not about incest. His wife's fucking her brother? No. Andy Samberg's fiance's fucking- Oh, her yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> forgot about that. That's at the end of the movie. That's like the big- Yeah. Yeah, that part's fucking hysterical. <laughs> it's hilarious. You would think incest is funny. It's not. That shit is not funny. Not when you're the product of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's in front of some West Virginia boys, you're making yeah, jokes about incest. Yeah, Jesus. I didn't make any jokes Freedom about it. Oh, incest. you're fucking <laughs> laughing it up. That you're scene when up. he goes, he's like, I think she's cheating on you. And he goes and he like stalks her and it's just her and her brother just fucking like hard. <laughs> it's hysterical. <laughs> Let my people go. That was beautiful. Thank you, brother. And what do you know about High Noon? That's what's really beautiful. A nice four-pack of High Noon. I oh, want you have me one. How? Ah. Uh, uh, everybody was promising free High Noon usage, and wow, it's open. It's new. Ooh, a lime. Oh. Dude, one KB. Get one for the married man. Married one, man, well, he yes. can have one if you want. Get me one of those water. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Oh, no, you feel. Pick up on my vibe. Yeah, yeah, choice. It is all about the vibe. Are you a watermelon guy? Oh, no. Watermelon is the... Oh. That's a high noon no-no. But that is grapefruit. Um, Nick is a grapefruit guy. KB, can I get... Oh, that and that was a slippery one. <laughs> What's happen- I'm like usually athletic as all fuck. You are, you are athletic as all get out. I mean, this better not reflect on your hacky sack <laughs> abilities. Two hands. There you go. That's safe. So Two hands is always safe, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, the embarrassment drifts away when you crack into a delicious high noon tequila seltzer. All real juice, all real, real seltzer. Everything's real about it. It's real tequila, 
Blanco tequila that you're going to enjoy wherever you're getting it. But you can go to highnoonspirits.com to find some near you. Or you can go to Drizzly, your local liquor store. All my boys are cracking open oh, a yeah. nice high noon. Uh, you're going to carry these into the fall. You're going to want to be sipping these all fall. Yeah. No matter where you're at. It's perfect for football season. Tailgating, outdoors, SEC football, Big Ten football. Goodness gracious. September is the nicest month of the year, usually. Yeah, honestly, in freaking yeah, New York these yeah. days. Wow, you're right. Pulling up at Penn State. <laughs> Thank you, Kate. You're right. No, maybe October. <laughs> I love October. Have you been that song? <laughs> you get it? Have you been getting it? I've been getting Dude, it everywhere. It's tough. Just pulled up at Penn State. <laughs> what is that? You what know, is that? We're going to have fun. Sucks. All our friends are here. What is this? This this it's, song is dude, it's this guy's really tree's like uh he's like consciously making a college anthem and uh it's he's like, like the worst lyrics. He's doing it in the TikTok way where it's like you post the same song a thousand times just a little snippet of it yeah. and he's like this guy from UCLA got 100 like 25 million views. This guy from Arizona got 190 million views. I'm about to do the same. I just pulled up at Penn State. <laughs> I need to see oh, it. Penn State. The lyrics are oh, in a party terrible. till the sun comes up. Is rap rap are... still a thing? This is I was going to say I can't believe this is happening in this year. It's I know. Brrek. It's crazy how bad I, the I, I don't think it. it's that bad, dude. I, I mean, I need it. it. Or, or the, the melody's yeah. not bad. They're going to dance for it, but I sent it to your phones if you want to play it on your phone. Danny Vitale? Yeah. They're going to what? The lyrics are like, well, we're they're going to us for it? He's probably signed by... So that, no, no, you, he's not signed by anyone. He's that getting, rapper, oh. You Know Miles, that we played... Oh, no, no, no. He's got us? Yeah, this guy. But he well deserved by You Know. Oh, yeah. Penn State. Yeah, I just Penn State. Oh man! Ew, yeah, no. Rocks. Show this guy when you hear his voice come through over it, because it sounds crispy when you throw all the effects on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it has you know? the whatever yeah. type of. He does like the know. L.A. Hawkeye voice. <laughs> but his voice cutting through. <laughs> what is he? Only got one live. Oh, there he is. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what he looks like. Of course. Just put up a pound stage. What is the lyric where he's like, we got all our friends here. We got all our friends, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only got one life, so we're living it up. <laughs> I think I'm a Wait, why are all the comments like, this is fire? Are they no, joking? No, no, people are flaming it. Because they probably just pulled up the Penn State. Just pulled up the Penn State. <laughs> this is definitely one of the songs of all time. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call this one past that. <laughs> but all of his TikTok is like this song over and over and over again. There's no oh, way he keeps, he's singing. Promoting. keeps doing it. He's promoting it, and then maybe he'll give another line, but he might only have this. Let's see if he can capture magic in a bottle twice. It's the second song. It's, no, it's gotta be it's this song. This is the one. Day. He knows it's the one. He got four bars in, and he's like, I could put it out. That's you got all, all our friends, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got all the friends, friends, yeah. <laughs> you only live once. So we're about to have fun. He could just you swap that out with any college. Oh, too, yeah. It work. I got to Arizona. Yeah. Put up to now Kent State. <laughs> yeah, Kent State. <laughs> just put up to DePaul, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Go on. No. In the middle of the fall, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every college it works, bro. Xavier. Just put up to Xavier. Xavier. Feeling like a savior. <laughs> Let's put up the Xavier, homie got the Xanax. Uh, yep, <laughs> beautiful. That's a pop of perfect, few perfect run. Our minds. <laughs> we got all our friends, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the worst lyric. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got all our hey, friends, we got yeah. All yeah. All our friends yeah. yeah. We got all our friends, yeah. We got all our friends, yeah. We about to party till the sun okay. comes up. <laughs> <laughs> See, like five years ago, you you would post that video and sixty-one people would see it. Yeah. Now with yeah. TikTok, it's it's bad. It's but he's cursed. posted. I mean, the fact that we had both seen it and TJ had seen he's it. He's infusing it into the algorithm. Yeah. Like that shit works, but you can't you can't uh, govern people's reaction. But also, you could put it could have put that out twelve years ago, and it might have it might have like twelve years gone, ago it could have popped. Yeah. It might have gone crazy. Every campus. Oh, and he probably looks campus. up to you. That's why I I, I don't want to talk shit on. Yeah. It. yeah. He's probably got like a poster of you on his But wall. he's also uh, probably fucking off this song. Let's be yes. honest. Like he's at Penn 100%. State. There's like 45. Well, there's a reason he's posting there. it. There's some hot girls yeah. who are like, this is really he's, fucking Yeah, he's good. getting yeah. positive. <laughs> <and> <laughs> yeah. I think this is going to be big. Run, hop on the track. Yeah, yeah you should. I can. You should do a verse. I can. I could do that for him. Reverse. Say it right now. 
<laughs> I need to, I would need to hear what the whole verse was or the whole beat was. I have to go have diarrhea. <laughs> bad. <laughs> really bad. Wait, wait. Red Bull. See how long you can hold out. I want to see you sprint yeah, to bad. the bathroom. Can you play the uh, wait, audio wait, it? Audio it. it. Call us in. Hear it. Call in. Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. Absolutely not. Is it going to be that bad? What was the number one frat rat anthem back in the day? I mean, oh, I mean, like, I love college yeah, by Asher Roth, like, opened the floodgates. But you know, Sammy Adams was on. And then he followed um, up with, "I hate college, but love all the parties." Who had no? Yeah, oh, so no, Sammy like, Adams yeah, had that Sammy one. Yeah, Asher yeah, Roth started, started it. Asher Roth. And then who else? I mean, there was it's a lot. Young and wild and free. Yeah, true. So what we get drunk. Yeah, but that was by Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, and that was Snoop Dogg, right? Yeah, I would say like Mike. Stud. Oh yeah, but now he's just he's, Mike now. Yeah, Huey. Re Rebranded Mike. Huey Mac. Mike Posner too. Mike Posner was at Duke making music and shit like that. He definitely has mm -hmm. some shitty bang, OCD yeah. motion twist. Was Stop, Mike that's, Stud that's in our shit. ground COVID? up? Yeah, really. Was Mike Stud in our COVID beer pong tournament? I think yeah. so. Yes, he was. I think he ha he's been in a lot of beer pong tournaments. <laughs> Probably more than anyone in the world. He's been in more than he's not. Yeah. He's I, like the I, Joey Chestnut of beer yeah. pong tournaments. <laughs> Mike Stutt, I see is. And when I think of Mike Stutt, I picture a beer pong table. Yeah. Um, but he tried to like rebrand and no longer makes that like frat rap genre. He dropped the stud. He now makes sort of like a country hip hop, yeah. sort of like R and B stuff. It's, it's some of it's not bad. I'm not gonna lie. It's good. Yeah. I was I was getting I'm into not. Atlanta high school football disses. Like, they, like every local school was dropping them. In like 20 years ago or 15 years ago. Well, the rap songs? Mm hmm. Really? Were they, uh, how serious did it get? Got crazy. All the the rivalries. Boom, boom, boom. Interesting. I've been watching uh, British people uh, go to high school football games for the first time. I've s Do they like it? They think it's like a movie because they didn't think like there was actually cheerleaders I, and bands. Actually doing it. Oh my God, it's real. I feel like I'm in a, I feel like I'm in a Disney Channel film. They do portray uh, high school football games uh, almost like it's not it's not proportionate to how many high school football games there are, how much they are in movies and American pop culture. Mm -hmm. It's very American. Did you see that new high school football stadium in Texas? It's like 10,000. I, I thought that was a fake. It's yeah. preposterous, but it is a big part of our culture. But I didn't realize that other cultures noticed that about our culture. Oh, yeah. British people like. They always ask me that. They're like, so is high school in America just like the movies? Like, you've got the high school quarterback dating the captain of the cheerleading team. And, I mean, at my high school, it was not like that. The cheerleading team. Now it's like the high really school. the cream of the crop, but. The quarterback's like closeted gay and stuff like that. There's <laughs> yeah. probably like. Yeah. Like wow. $35 million. The school has 1,300 students? That can't That's be not enough. Bad. Bro. I wish they found oil in Pennsylvania or something like that. The fact they found oil they in Texas. They did. Wait, is that a I practice so. facility? Oh, my God. No, they found, like, Yeah, wait, isn't that, isn't that actually where they first yeah. found oil? Fracking. Is it actually in Pennsylvania? Well, yeah. Well, we, uh, a lot of people from our area got rich off of it. Uh, yeah. Fracking? Yeah. Well, then I wish rights. I got some of that fracking money. Or mineral. I need to get in, like, the minerals game. Yeah, I got, we got, like, homies that are oil tycoons now. Yeah. For real? From yeah, it's game. always weird one of your homies becomes a tycoon. That's so annoying, probably. Unless you reap the benefits, but you probably have to wear like big ass belt buckles, ten gallon hats. That's pretty cool. I feel like China is going to town trying to get some minerals in Africa right now. I feel like they're going to Africa and they're like, "Oh, we're about to fucking rip it up and get some fresh ass minerals." Mm hmm. They yeah, they actually own like tons of land there. Yeah, China. Yeah, in a lot Africa, of Africa. Right? They're trying yeah. to get mineral from what country? What, uh, All over Niger. Wow, Niger. Where else uh, is uh, you know any others? Everywhere, Pretty everywhere, much the whole continent. My my mom is actually uh, mining gold. What? <laughs> yeah, go. Wow. Actually, at Pablo, you remember Pablo, my cousin Pablo? Yeah, on, on his farm. Yeah. Oh. They found uh, they found uh, clay. Uh, was it claim? Well, they just got the claims, but they 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 did the detector things, and apparently they're sitting on a shit ton of gold. What? Oh, yeah. what? Are they worried about the they're out of here. Zimbabwe government once though that's coming th in that, to interfere? That's the thing about commodities in Africa. Once once they start coming out the ground, you have to constantly have a gun on them until the money's like in your bank account. 
So once yeah. they start, once they actually start coming out the ground, people people will hear about it, and it'll. Damn, should we scrub this from the episode? I feel like we're putting nah. your mom in danger. Nah, nah, she's nah, on a gold mine. Nah, she's literally she's living on a <laughs> real gold mine. Real gold mine. What the fuck? That's a, insane. Nah, a lot of people. Nah, is there a potential wow. you become a billionaire? Uh, uh, that better happen fucking fast. I'm waiting for it. I know. I'm what? waiting for it. Would you buy a uh, soccer team? No. Michael Jordan's mansion in Chicago. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> no, that would be that would be that would be nice. Nah. With Za across yeah. the gates and the iron. Yeah, but that, it's it's capital intensive, so it takes a while. And well, let's throw some money together. More. There you go. If you want to invest, guys, can we? Invest on my Venmo at the Midget Zimbo. If you want to invest, yeah. Oh, we're get a part of that. Yeah, Za, that could be you, bro. <laughs> Only fifteen. That's light. Za, are you cool with the nation of Botswana? Uh yeah, <laughs> as of right now yeah. I just no, watched a video no on their thing. come up. I didn't realize it was yeah. Bro, I gold. lived there so for diamonds, right? four months. Yeah. Diamonds and gold. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's where they're I, bustling. That's yeah, where I went abroad in college. Is that Botswana? one of the better places to live yeah, in? Botswana. They're doing great. Yeah, right now, in a yeah. short yeah. period of time. Rwanda because Rwanda. they found all their diamonds right after they gained independence, independence from, from the British. British. Yeah. Um, oh, they definitely oh, were like waiting. They, they definitely knew the diamonds were there. Yeah. Like, yeah, you don't know. Yeah, and they're like they've actually been using the wealth for good causes. Normally, the government just hoards it all for themselves. But now, like, if you have AIDS in Botswana, you get free health care your entire life. Um, yeah. So that there's not like a lot of homeless people there. Um, it's awesome. Are, is yeah. Botswana coastal? Nope. No, no, it's not. Interesting. Yeah, Namibia. Namibia is the one that's oh, far Namibia. left. Oh, got you, got you. So, are, is there? Uh, you said it's like rich there. Is it? Does it attract tourists? For safaris, Namibia oh, for safaris. is amazing. Yeah. Oh, Francis went there, I think. Botswana maybe. for the They've got yeah. the Great Migration, maybe the Okavanga Delta, which is like the largest inland delta in the world. Let's go. Oh, that must be music to your ears, KB. <laughs> Hearing people talk about geography like that, yeah, I love it. The yeah. Okavanga Delta, damn. Um, not much of a nightlife though, so I was kind of pissed. I chose to go there abroad. Like, I was living in some town where they just turned off all electricity at midnight. No, and they had like one local bar. Meanwhile, all my friends were in like Australia, Barcelona. You're drinking beer by candlelight. Yeah. Damn, what were you about to say, Zah? We should do we should do the Delta, Donnie. We should do the Delta in South Africa. Yeah, I'm interested in we should that. Do the Delta, the penguins in South Africa and, and South, South, yeah. South Africa's Kruger, having some hiccups Kruger right National now, Park. aren't they? Yeah, bro, it's popping off in yeah. the ghettos. It's popping off. Yeah. They, they don't want in the townships. Uh, Ramaphosa, right? They want them out. Yeah, Ramaphosa that's fucked. Ramaphosa's in trouble. Niger has some crazy shit going on too. There's a a a revolution going on there or a coup, a military coup. Yeah, they're trying to kick the French out. And they had like some president who's like holed up, but the pr- the French are trying to, yeah. I don't know, some crazy shit's going yeah. on out there right now. China has like its own police force in Africa just to protect all of its citizens that are there. Yeah, they're trying to, yeah, they're trying to come up off Africa. Aren't they building a bunch of shit, mowing down fucking forests, building infrastructure? Yeah, like the U.S. gives Africa a lot of money, but then they're like, all right, you need to like abide by our like human rights regulations and you have to do this and that and then china just gives these countries a bunch of money and they're like as long as you let us operate in your country you don't have to do a thing uh they got a mine for houston rockets gear (laughs) (laughs) oh man speaking of uh tequila sodas vodka sodas um at my wedding in ireland like bartenders there don't really know what to do when you order a vodka soda you get very that? confused. I guess it's just not a drink. The they don't have soda. The directions water? are in the name. That's one of yeah. the easier <laughs> drinks so to make. What they do, they're like, oh, a vodka soda. So they just like pour a shot of vodka into a cup of ice and then just give you uh, a small bottle of soda water. On their like, side. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. DIY vodka soda. I mean, they could just pour it in there for you. Yeah, but they they were just kind of like taken off guard by it so it, uh, it's are they more de- uh, ton- a tonic country a quinine country i'm sure that you could get a gin and tonic there that's like a very kind of worldly drink yeah. yeah um bloody mary's they did not know what that was Ooh, that sucks probably like that uh yeah, like was. you've been I, you've been wanting bloody mary's lately well, i've always been a bloody mary guy are you in tomorrow yeah do we have some bloody mary's on the show oh, sure i'm not gonna be here just hold up to Penn State, State you know how it is, yeah. You're about to party till the sun comes up. 
Do you think he ever All wrote right the lyrics down? Yeah. Did he just go? I think he went. Uh, no, I bet he wrote them down. I bet he like worked that out for like hours. Yeah. I'm with my friends. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy. I was just in the studio and that shit just came to me. <laughs> I? I mean, it's in all of our heads. It's earworm. Yeah. You can't hate on him because he he yeah. made a perfect earworm. He's making a banger. But then when you his voice comes over the top, he's gonna need to carry around an auto tune with him. So he, that's his new speaking voice. Because you can't go back and forth. There's other oh man. I want to hear the first line. I want to hear the whole song. But he's just teasing us, and it's fucking working. So the full song is not like on Spotify. You think? I don't think so. Party till the sun comes up. Right here at Penn State, you know how it is, yeah. <laughs> so we're Cause we it all right up. here at Penn State. Everybody's here, right here at Penn State. Danny Vitale, bro. All right here at Penn State. We're only young once, yeah. Oh, then he says, I think I'm going to call this one dot, 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 Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell yes. Friday, wrote a song about Colorado Boulder, 13 million streams. R.L. Grime, wrote a song about UCLA, 197 million streams. And me, well, I'm trying. Yeah, I just pulled up to Penn State, you know that I can't wait. We about to party till the sun comes out. Cause we are right here at Penn State, we got all our friends yeah. here. Only got one life, so we live in. Uh, oh man what was the one about colorado someone had front wrote a song about colorado got 13 million st- streams on it to your roommates back in boulder oh, that, oh that's, that's the chain smoke yeah, that's, the chain. that's one billion stream yeah that can't be the ucla anthem is it that's the that's the uh, uh ucla UC Colorado, UC Boulder. UCLA is, I'm in UCLA. Da, 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 oh, that's a good da, song. Because yeah. it's about UCLA. like California. <laughs> yeah. You're trying to write a song about central Pennsylvania. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> California is a genre of music. Yeah. For yeah, sure. It's that voice kind of. Have you ever seen, have you guys seen those? I keep on getting them on my Instagram and they'll be like, 20 songs that I wish everyone would hear before they die and it's just like the 20 most famous songs of all time they do that a lot of like work. stairway to heaven <laughs> never heard that yeah smells like teen spirit and it's just like it's just like a dude who lists off all the songs and then he's like in the background and he's like dancing dude I got uh, on my TikTok I had a screenshot it Dale Earnhardt crash do not attempt yeah <laughs> <laughs> not gonna do that <laughs> Nobody don't think I will no, but he had to put that there, or else TikTok would have just it like removed it down. Yeah. Is this instructions on how to do a Dale Earnhardt crash? Guys, you guys want to go out after this and try to do the Dale Earnhardt crash? Yeah, we got to try. It's the challenge, the Dale Earnhardt crash challenge. <laughs> TikTok has been getting out of hand. Uh, Glenny Balls posted. Let me swallow first. Sure, yeah. Glenny Balls posted <laughs> a video of some like girl calling him fat on TikTok, and then it was removed from his own TikTok for bullying. <laughs> just looking out for him. Was he just like uh, posted it. Like, yeah, he just with this bro. He, he thought like it was kind of funny. It was some OnlyFans girl, just like you don't have to take this, bro. Yeah. What did she say? You'd have to ask him, but it got removed immediately. From I mean, playing. I think it's automatically deri- like it's not necessarily an insult to call someone fat. No, and that's what it's, the fat people are pushing. They're like, right. yeah, let's normalize. Being and so it's really the TikTok algorithm is the one who is taking that as an insult, which means they see something wrong with being fat. Yeah, Jesus. which maybe absolutely. I guess it's the, the Chinese, Chinese app. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. based in China, obviously they see a problem with that. Yeah, we got to defend these fucking heifers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was nicked. I was nicked for calling myself a midget. No way. Which I am. Yeah. Wait, isn't that your handle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucked. Stop bullying him. Leave him alone. But Zaw, am I like a uh, what percentage d- are against that word? Uh it's it's political. It's it's American. Yeah. It's the little people of America that 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 put the it The Americans, on. Yeah. yeah. Is that like a society, the little people of America? Yeah, they're they're yeah, they're like okay. the they're like the screen actors. They're like the sage of the <laughs> It's a union. They <laughs> they like strike, yeah. The There's union, a pedophile the union, one. Is there a pedophile? Actually, one? Yeah. yeah. Some <laughs> no, little people were very pissed because they're on no longer they're remaking Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, but they're not casting little people yeah, in those bro. roles. That's that's major checks. There yeah. was like half of the 
community was for it and half were against it though like hornswoggle peter dinklage was peter dinklage was like they shouldn't cast whoa 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 but peter dinklage played a giant in the in one of those marvel movies right and also peter dinklage has been getting paid for the last yeah fucking years i want to i want to eat he's an elf once he he eats everybody else doesn't get to sit at the table right what a selfish prick i want to eat that bastard that absolute bastard them all was change, changing terms is so fucked up. Just switching around the terms of what's acceptable. Because, like, that doesn't trickle down to the whole community. There's no, like, fucking everybody's not subscribing to whatever some, like, fucking, like, deep organization of just a few people is saying. Like, you, that, that, that shit yeah. doesn't spread far right. and wide. That's, like, for the elites. Yeah. To be able to be like, you can't say that. Yeah, there, there's not a lot of jobs for little people in Hollywood, so, like... When they remake Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, you think that's your time to shine? Yeah, put yeah. some fellas right. in there. Yeah. The fellas, let the fellas eat. The fellas want to eat. We should beat this shit out of the fucking. So who's gonna play the dwarves? Probably Hunter Dickinson. <laughs> <laughs> they're not dwarves. It's like uh, yeah, they're just do yeah. It's like, like, it's the like Seven like Fellas. Cultural yeah. cast of homeless-looking people. Yeah. yeah like it, you can actually find a photo online. It's just this one's like, wheelchair bound. Crew of, it's, oh my god like, it's yeah. John Boyega the kid from the Penn State song yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> it's those two party to the sun comes out cause we, we all right here in the sun, sun comes out up next to Snow White cause the <laughs> <and> fat lips <laughs> Oh hell no! Yeah, that's just a crew. That's a that's a theater troupe. <laughs> yes, that's a theater troupe. This is the uh, hook. This Those is are just bullshit. seven regular gay people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh no! Is that one dwarf in the front? Yeah. yeah. Is he a traitor? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. This fuck. It's a fucking <laughs> scale. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Yeah. He crossed the picket line. Uh, <laughs> bullshit. Oh my god. The girl that's playing Snow White too is getting like crucified for how she's describing it. Oh shit. Yeah, she's getting ripped. It's apart. like not the story, like the regular Snow White story either. There's no Prince Charming cast in the movie, like, it, and it's like a girl boss Snow White. Yeah, her interviews yeah. are different. Like Snow White fucking sucks. Yeah. yeah. She and, hates Snow White. And maybe she's not kissed because they were like, oh, this dude just kissed a passed out chick. That's but she consensually gets a train run on her by the dwarfs. <laughs> yeah. She's a freak. An inclusive freak. If they were like, you're going to die or you can have this person kiss you. I'd be like, yeah, let him kiss me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she wakes up and he, that, Prince Charming got me too, man. Yeah. Instead of a rose, it's just a curled dildo on her chest yeah. that she sleeps <laughs> with. This is all I need. <laughs> oh man, mm-hmm. fucking Snow White. I know Rapunzel's going to be le- a lesbian with a buzz cut. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <G.I. laughs> Jane. <laughs> Just rolled up to the beach, sipping on a high noon. Pretty good. You know, we about to party till the sun comes out. Cause we it all right here at Penn State. Is everyone really right there at Penn State? Are we all there at Penn State? Penn State. State's more of a state of mind. I think he like. I think the first line of the song is like, "That's your song, Penn State." Because we're happy state of mind. in a valley. Penn State of Mind. That is cool. It's too much. It's too deep. People aren't going to get that. Yeah, Penn that's, State that's of a... Emergency. <laughs> Holy shit. Penn State of the Union. Oh. You oh, was the rebrand wow. that Penn State needs. <laughs> Someone said in the comments that it was it was the worst that's happened to Penn State since Sandusky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! Just pulled up the tough, singing a cappella. <laughs> oh nice! Our virginity tonight. You, that song after we watched that shit, I, I just had sex. <laughs> was in my head for a fucking <laughs> week. And oh. It felt so, so good. good. <laughs> it felt so good. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put my penis inside of her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. You're legitimately good at that. <laughs> I just had sex. And they have the one black dude in the group. I'm like, all right, break it down. Break down the rap. Break part. it down. <laughs> <laughs> Get out here and break it down. For him. <laughs> <laughs> Just beatboxes. So good. Boom, ch- boom, 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 boom. <laughs> right, one, two, three, all at the same time. One, two. I'm not three. doing this. Yeah. Oh, just Dick that. doesn't like to do group singing. Uh uh-uh, uh. I don't like to do anything synchronized. Yeah. Yes. The day when they like pick out the person who, like, and the winner of the solo for I Just Had Sex 
is Dashwan Fan. <laughs> He's just super excited. <laughs> yes. I'll circle him around him and hug him. You you would play that on the ox, and that was like telling ten jokes. Oh yeah. Yourself, like girls would laugh at you. Or like the Mickey Avalon song. Oh He's my like, dick. My dick. Yeah. That's actually hurt nasty. Yeah. Hurt nasty. Yeah. That's the homie though. Yeah. Hey, that's the homie though. <laughs> My boy and um, his movie that he came out with last summer was really good. He was actually supposed to come Red on Boy Dad. Yeah. It was good, but it was yeah, I used to love him. <laughs> good guy. Why'd you stop loving him, he, man? He was in a rap group with Andy Milanakis. Yeah. yeah. Trace, Trace, Trace Loco or Three Loco. Loco. What were they called? Three Loco, I think. Yeah. They were good. I think, yeah. That's, that's like your boy, a, Andy Milanakis. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's, he's the guy. I think he's back in Queens now. We're supposed to link up. Haven't yet, but he's a good guy. Sass, how's the diarrhea? It wasn't satisfying. It was kind of just like the Sorry. first wave. You so you're not done? Your not even close. You just sent out the scouts. <laughs> yeah. It was more of like a Troops recon are mission. Soon. Yeah. First blast. The initial <laughs> blast. Send a sentry over to the toilet. <laughs> it was not good, though. It didn't yeah, feel good. Bet, it wasn't dude. satisfying. I fucking bet. What is? Isn't there a lyric? There's a there's a Migos lyric about Andy Milanakis. Probably. Really? What happened? You almost just fell over? I spilled spilled my high noon. Damn, that would have been devastating. In call casting. Do 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 do. Really good Bloody Marys are so much better than a really bad Bloody Mary. The ceiling yeah. to floor is uh-huh. such a, a twenty foot ceiling. Yeah. A gross Bloody Mary like on an when airplane comes in or some too shit. Too red. I don't even think I've had a Bloody Mary. Like really? A, yeah, a, a never. One? Just a Bloody Mary. What? The fu- but like a thick ass it. chunky one that's fucking got some horseradish in it or something. Do oh, you like yeah. a slice of bacon? It needs to be thick. It can't be like soupy and. There you go, sass. My boys in the game. Wait. White. <laughs> White Call him Andy Milanakis. Call him Andy Milanakis. Yeah. Hey, top corner shot. We Boom. won't hesitate to shoot. Hey, ball shoot. corner pocket. White boys in the game. Call him Andy Milanakis. Yo. So he just represents all white boys? Yeah. I think so. White boys in the game, at least. Yeah. That's sick, though, because... I probably represent white boys on the sidelines. <laughs> yeah. White boys sitting this one out. Yeah. Call me Andy. Fast. It's my number one celebrity lookalike. Chief Keith? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I guess I see it. There's Sosa and TJ in the booth? <laughs> 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 yeah. I see it in the double cup. Oh, uh. <laughs> Damn. Have you ever drank lean run? Uh, a little bit. Ooh. I'd be around people that would be yeah? like, yo, you want to have a sip? I got lean? lean when I was visiting Zah in Zimbabwe because that's huge out there. Lean's huge out there? Yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Um, I'd forgotten about that. <laughs> one of his cousins was like, I got an extra bottle of lean for you. So I, I brought it to the airport. You, no, you uh, didn't. I brought what? it to the airport. Lean. You can travel with it. And then poured it in a Sprite. Um, and then the I think you're supposed sprite? to like melt a Jolly Rancher in it or something yeah. sometimes too. But I just did a Sprite and lean, and just pounded it at the airport. Did you get fucked up? Um, was it everything? Was, was it both parts of it? Yeah, I was. I was like, I was high. It's like wasn't super enjoyable. I'm not looking forward to doing it again. But um, you don't have yeah. to. Man. <laughs> yeah, no. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what was? I'm looking forward. I'm Did not, you have a plan? It's <laughs> coming up soon. I mean, I'm I'm probably not going to do it again. Like it's a Jewish <laughs> holiday yeah. or something. But uh, yeah, no, it's very, very Seder. popular. The Houston uh, Seder. <laughs> very Put a popular. Foe in a there. cream soda. The <laughs> foe in the deck. Uh, I just felt kind of like dazed and off balance. And Were stuff. you having Fago dreams? I, I may have had some Fuego dreams on that sense flight, of n- has never yeah. been said with a voice like that. <laughs> yeah. I was like the yeah. Penn State guy. <laughs> did, you, did you say, is it Fago dreams? Like Fago, Fago dreams. Oh. It's a six dog song. Oh. R.I.P. Fago was the soda that, that they were pouring they were into, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cream soda Fago. Damn, I'm still <laughs> yeah. yeah. Shout out Zaz's cousin for the Lean Connect. Yeah, no, that's uh, we call it bronco down there. Bronco? bronco? Did you do? Uh, did you do the glue too, or no? The glue? Oh, hey, they oh, smoked the blood to not do the glue. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, no, no yeah. So we, Glue's big. Yeah, we put glue in like in like a plastic in like a milk plastic thing, and you smoke it out of there. Right. I heard they do that in <laughs> Ethiopia too. Yeah, no, it's crazy. Smoking glue? Cause that's all they have. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bro. If if you're if you have no money and you're trying to get fucked up, you just pour out some Elmers. <laughs> yeah, you were telling. It is yeah. it straight up Elmers? Were you somewhere where they were doing that? 
in Ethiopia. They yeah. were there two things they did were glue and like literal exhaust, like huffing it, it exhaust. Fucks you up. So we call it stick. We call it stick because it's like you get once you once you hit it, you're like stuck in the position for like thirty minutes. So you. I feel like they should you, just call like it glue. Yeah. We could. Yeah. Wait a second. We're stuck <laughs> like glue. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, like there, there were dudes who were like seizing out on the streets. Like people were like, and then like the few tourists that there were would come up and try and like revive them. People would be like, no, no, he's just he's glued out. He's just on like yeah. glue or exhaust. He's got glue brain. <laughs> but yeah, that's if you couldn't afford the the cut. Glue brain's got to be brutal. Yeah. After just huffing glue or worst, smoking worst glue. Than a K-hole. Did, yeah, did you do that, Ron? Did you do cut? I did, but it, it, I, like it? it didn't work. Oh. Like, we ate, we literally sat in the fucking, like, they made it like, they were super excited. It was the day after this guy's, like, fourth wedding ceremony, and we sat in this big circle with, like, the mats on the floor. Everybody had the Johnny Walker black. We were set up with our big-ass pile of leaves. It looked like a spinach salad, like, this fucking big in front of us, and we just chewed for fucking four hours straight. And we got we didn't get fucked up at all. They said it was going to be a mixture of Viagra, Adderall, and weed. Th- these are leaves, leaves that you chew and like you put into like almost like fucking throw it into a pouch, right, Zah? Yeah. Like kind of you throw a pouch like a lip, kind of like, like a, a lip, lip yeah. Chew. yeah. But you're chewing it down, and it tastes like leaves off of. And they said, bush. What, "What did they? How did they describe the sensation? Like, what, what did they advertise? Weed, Viagra, and Adderall." Simultaneously, and they said everybody does it like all day. But the shit that we got, we were like two hours outside of the, uh, the Viagra portion of that concoction. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. just a leaf, I guess, that makes yeah. You know, just horny bonus horny. I've heard it's like somewhere in between coffee and cocaine. Um, yeah, but yeah. but people are just there's like shortages of it, and I guess we got a bad batch. I think you have to harvest it, and within a certain amount of time, you have to consume it, or else it turns or it just turns into doesn't do shit yeah I you bet. guys got that black market bunk i swear to god we did you ever do some like doing bunk will ruin your whole weekend doing a dud when you think you're gonna get high as hell yeah you just gotta sell the rest of the duds to someone else to oh, make yeah. your money back after you after you realize it's a dud after like two hours and then you become the biggest fiend for anything else right well I, or you just sell it to like a younger kid like oh these are fake pills <laughs> yeah. yeah slightly stupid's got a whole song about that do they yeah, couldn't get high yeah it's a devastating feeling fucking hate when i can't get high but the time doing cot was still fun because we were just bullshitting around telling stories that, that's the high right there it was the high we were just like drinking and like yeah, that's awesome friendship was the high all along yeah. who, who would have thought yeah it was the memories that we made we're in Adi's telling or bischoff to telling stories bro it was fucking lovely telling some yeah i guess in like yemen and everybody gets a four-hour cot break in the middle of the day right it's like just part of the culture yeah. like the government officials are all doing it what doing what is it called hot Hot? Hot? Hot. It's just like a drug. It's a mix of Viagra, weed, and Adderall. So uh, it's a leaf. leaf. Well, it's, that's what they say the high feels like. So you just get hard and focused? Yeah. And, and then I'm freaking out at the same time, too. Did Vice send like a it's British scared. dweeb to, <laughs> yeah. to do they it? probably sent like Louis <laughs> Thoreau. Yeah, they have to send their biggest yeah, dweeb to try it. this hardened street drug. <laughs> I love that. That's my, my favorite shot. Hard. You get hard, focused, and scared all at once. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it helps you in the bush, bro. <laughs> I want to fuck you, but I'm kind of scared to. Yeah. I, I can't stop looking at your <laughs> pussy, but I'm afraid to fuck you. I need more of this. I'm going to do this every day. I want to feel like this uh, always. Oh. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not experiencing just one of these. <laughs> but you said you did it and it worked, Zah? Or you got fucked up off it? The, the cut? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, what what was it like? Was it is that an accurate representation? I was, or so I was I was more I was more chippery. I was more uh, I was like a. Uh, it wasn't as so it wasn't as bad as coke, but it was more for me. It was me? more on that. Side. <laughs> no, no, you, <laughs> you said coffee yeah, and coke. You, you said coffee and coke. Because you mentioned. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't yeah, say yeah. that you were doing it. It wasn't as yeah. bad as that. <laughs> but it was it was more on that side than than uh, than than like a lazy chilled sit back high kind of thing. There's a little buzz yeah. to it. But I've only, I did it once and what, that was back in like 2013. Yeah. yeah. I And then there were like multiple busts, I think at the Philadelphia, maybe the airport or or maybe just the port in Philadelphia of maybe like a ton, like so much cot that they found. But I think that it doesn't even make sense to freeze dry it and send it overseas because it maybe loses its potency. Yeah. Or I don't know. I really. Sounds like it would. I would love to do it. If, if it's a leaf that you can chew, 
that seems pretty in line with the drugs that we're legalizing in the United States. Mm-hmm. Like we're we have tobacco legal, weed legal, mushrooms pretty close to legal. Freedom, freedom legal, like. Kava, which Frank the Tank was doing. Yeah, we for? did Kava. That was kind of funky. That store shut Kava down. Was Frank's Kava store shut down. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh, fuck. There it is. Yeah, Kava was not fun. It made my mouth numb. Instant. Numb, yeah. And it tasted like shit. Yeah, it tasted so fucking bad. It just tasted like mud. Yeah, I guess that's huge in like America, and it was like, Samoa, and like all the American territories in the Pacific, they love Kava. Yeah. Like, the consistency of it was, like, thinner than water. It was yeah. disgusting. Thinner than water? Yeah. That's where it was. He's right. It was. It tasted so... It was such a weird... I hate things that little. taste thin. And it was room it's a temperature. disgusting idea of a thought. Remember, it was, like... Remember, it came in, like, a cup, and they were, like... It was half like filled. Half and filled. And the like, cups looked dirty. Yeah. Dirty as hell. Like, they just reused cups. It was the only kava on, like, Uber Eats. And that place has already gone out of business? No, yeah, no. Well, that's Frank did a video Frank's for it. out of business. So, like, Frank must have been their last resort. Oh, yeah. Well, they probably that, yeah. splurged on it. It's like, like a Hail Mary. Well, if you have a kava injury, maybe the right people to call are Morgan and Morgan. Definitely. To be honest. If you, uh, you know, writing a sketch comedy show is hard. Sass, this one goes out to you. But yeah. hiring Morgan and Morgan is easy. Morgan and Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 100 offices nationwide and more than 800 lawyers with over. $15 billion recovered from over 300,000 clients. Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to get you full and fair compensation. Morgan & Morgan has been fighting for the people for over 35 years and submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is so easy. Winning a case race can be hard, but submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. Moving your entire life to a new city is hard, but submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. Drinking a cup of kava is probably hard, but an injury submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. Some chat will probably make you hard, mm-hmm. but submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is easy. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan, and their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to forthepeople.com slash yak or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. That's F O R the people dot com slash yak or pound law. Pound five two nine from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. Yeah, believe it or not, that was a paid advertisement. How did I do? <laughs> Nani, you read along? <laughs> yeah. That was, did you miss anything? That's crazy. I thought you were just going Something off. I could oh. do. Uh, that's actually a paid advertisement. As much as it sounds like I integrated that. <laughs> that was actually paid. But shout out to the guys at Morgan and Morgan because if you mess with them, you could get paid. Yup. You could be the one who's getting paid. Why are you looking out at the door, Kyle? God, I had to play a dozen. Ooh. Now. So, should we spin the wheel? What time do you have to play? Three? three. Yes, three. three. I'm good. Okay, what's well, not at three? We about to party till the sun comes up. Yeah, I just pulled up to yak you. Pulled up with a snack, too. Shorty's gonna love me till the sun comes up. Gotta cover up my hickey, spinning game like Nicky, getting KB's wild, yeah, we're living it up. What the fuck? That's from Connor Griffin. He blessed us with some lyrics. Damn, for a guy that's never listened to a song. (laughs) He kind of knows exactly how it goes. Dry, like that gin that they were serving at Donnie's wedding. How is Carbone so elusive? How can we never get Carbone? You're like a cabron. For our lack of ability to get carbone. But Rough and Rowdy, dude. Rough and Rowdy's coming up. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait. I'm flying out tomorrow. The wheeling. Yeah. Are you going to go to Karen's pub? I'm going to say it loudly out of Rough and Rowdy. Going to go to Karen's and rob the register. <laughs> yeah. Rob the re- Yes, do that one again. <laughs> I just wanted cornhole, but now I'm an asshole. I'm about to rob Karen's of all the cash. Ooh. <laughs> mm. Damn, bro. You've been starting Pat Bev Pod with like a prepared. We're just f- four bars, dude. And the people who nice. canceled on us yesterday, they're making me, they wasted my introduction. Oh, uh, but you can't, you can't reuse that? Because it's speci- I tailored Specific- it. Oh, that's fucked. It's like that suit that you got at the, it's like the tux that you and yeah. Moop got from that same tux place, dude. Yeah. It was perfectly tailored to these people. Right. You can't How repurpose. Come people cancel so often on that show. Basketball players. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oops. Are you telling me to shit? No, I'm just saying. I'm I'm like pissed off or just you're frustrated. Busy guys or fickle. I mean, once you're a, once you you have so much money, you really can just like change and make plans whenever you want. Making long term plans is antithetical to what they're trying to do in a booking department. If Maybe I had somebody like, on my paid staff that could cancel for me, I would never show up to a thing. Right. Yeah. You don't have yeah. to tell the person that you're canceling. Yeah, yeah. Like you could go through a middleman. <laughs> At least you're not Tyler. I cannot believe that Tyler's stuck in California. Oh my God, it, that flow works for everything. I know, bro. We are fucking shitting on this guy. Uh, yeah. Shitting on him. We haven't shit on him once. Just like you guys never shitted on Adam Sandler. Come on, dude. Adam Sandler's playing B ball. Yeah, I didn't realize he had like th- he had like three thousand followers. I thought he was a huge. <laughs> no, <laughs> I feel bad. He's trying to make it. This is like his first yeah. day of college. He just graduated high school a, and is a massive Yak a fan. Freshman. <laughs> he's a freshman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is he was watching live <laughs> right now. Oh man, I mean, this is an important step. I mean, we've remixed his song fifteen times. We're giving it the ultimate love. We've we if he can clip every one of these, that will make that's infinite resources that he can use in his TikTok algorithm. He probably went to Penn State because he was like Rome went to Penn State. Yeah, he's looked up to you Listen, forever. And we're key, we keep singing it because it's it's catchy. Yeah, that's better. That's what than we've most. been saying. That's what we said that's from more, Rip. Yeah, that's more I've been than most on people. Him. Yeah, we've been shitting hard. <laughs> yeah, because you're his age. Did you yeah. guys feel bad when that like? Rizzed baby Gronk Livy kid like ended up owning Yak merch. He owns Yak merch. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 that the guy. Oh, no, that just made um, me be like, oh, he's joking. And yeah, he's doing a great job at he's sky tire. A, amazing he, sense of humor. He's done yeah. a couple of third person perspective videos where it's like me setting up to talk about Livy Dunn again, and it's like a from across the room. Like, he knows what he's doing. I didn't know Yeah, that. I think he, I, that was just like, oh, this is I was making funny. fun of him. I thought he was... Uh, Same with the Penn State kid. He knows what he's doing. He knows this song. He's, <laughs> That's what he should lean making into. making jokes. Yeah. It's like, I'm sure you, you don't get it? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking idiots. He's probably gonna have to transfer school. <laughs> <laughs> God no. damn. He's gonna fly. Oh, he's, he's good. fucking off of this. He's gonna be at uh <laughs> He's he's like but he's a dick. So he's gotta go to a school where he just can't find a rhyme. Yeah. <laughs> TC Chattanooga. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Um what does How many it views rhyme? does that TikTok have? I mean probably sure like five hundred. No, no, it has a lot because we've all seen it. You just exposed the whole thing. It all came up on the algo. Yeah, I mean, he's he's doing better than me, so keep it up, kid. It's popping off. I'm doing better than Don. I don't even have TikTok. It's coming up on my Instagram. Don. Wait, really? Yeah, it's on my Instagram Reels. Yeah, same. By and by, la- by air, by land, by air, by sea, dude. He's going every fucking like attacking duck. you where you're at. Yeah. Like Doing better than duck. Don, just because. Hey boys, can I use song? someone's laptop for this? Yeah. What's your password? Do it on Same your phone. as everybody's in the in the building. Who are you going against? Eddie. Do, oh, no. do people know oh. that this is a thing? Oh shit! <laughs> go go go! No, people know. Well, now they do. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think people know there's a dozen thing going on here. <laughs> He just walked out. He just walked away. Left the door open. Yep, he's so he's just done. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> he loves oh me. boy. Yes. Oh my god. I just pulled up to Penn State. There's gonna be like a shadow uh, above KB's bed as he's sleeping of a dude fixing his hair every three <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Jeff Delo's gonna have a fucking meat cleaver in his fucking <laughs> chest. Yeah. It's gonna be a Sweeney Todd remix. Of Jeff Delo. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He def- that's their demon barber for sure. Um, all right. We could call this thing. Oh, look out. Sasko stand next to him. The hell no. Come on, dude. <laughs> this probably smells different things. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you the air is fresher up there. Yeah. Or thinner. Or he's getting all our exhales. Yeah. It's probably a little bit warmer up there. Yeah, he probably he only breathes in exhales. He's probably also heard all this. If he climbed there. Everest, he'd probably be the highest anyone's ever been ever. Yeah. 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 Right? Yeah. I, mean, I don't know who the tallest guy is. I mean, people have been in planes. <laughs> oh, I mean, like, about <laughs> while on the ground. And in space. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, nobody's ever been higher than this. <laughs> but it's like, I don't think anyone's ever, he'd probably be the highest anyone's ever been. If he poured up some lean on top of Everest, being 6'10", six, six oh, okay. imagine how high he'd be. He'd be getting oh. dizzy up there. Yeah, he would. That high would be amazing. Oh, yeah. 
if that Penn State kid like performed his song at the peak of Everest, it would blow up. Yeah, it would be the peak. It would be pulled it. up to Everest. Wish I was at Penn State. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to go and study abroad. He needs to go on a tour. Just be like, wish I was at Penn State. Yeah. My friends are still at Penn State. <laughs> the ballad. <laughs> Drake needs to get his hands on it, bro. If Drake remixes yeah. that. Um, all right. Um, I'm going to Rough and Rowdy. Next, yeah. Next week is going to be a thick yak of oh. lots and lots of things. Barstool Awards. Buy, the, buy tickets to that. Rough and Rowdy by RNR.com or go to our YouTube and you can buy it on there. Barstool Independence Day. Jenks is fighting for Frank the Tank's honor against Muerte Blanco. Mm-hmm. Um, are you boys all you boys are all be here tomorrow? Yes, yes, sir. Bloody Marys. Yes. That's a good idea. Are you guys gonna film the yak up in Boston the day of the award show? Live in Boston. Uh, I believe so. It's got our train ticket. And uh, let's get it. Oh. I need to go buy a suit. And until then, we about to party till the sun comes up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With my friends, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. See you guys uh, Monday. Everyone else will see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.